Welcome to Retro Sports Gamer Channel. I'm Tim Kitzer from NBA Jam and Mutant Football League, NFL Blitz, and a few other games. Boom shakalaka. Kaboom. Do you smell what Stan Brock is cooking? Stan Brock says. Stan Brock says. Stan Brock says. Stan Brock, Stan Brock says, return a damn ball to the house. Welcome GB Land and retro sports gamer fans. It's week five. What Stan Brock is cooking. Every team gets Stan Brock at right tackle. Stan Brock says, Stan Brock, Stan Brock, Stan Brock says, stay tuned for the rest of the broadcast. Tech Bowl Super Bowl fans. Do you smell what Stan Brock is cooking? It's week five, GB Land, Tech Bowl Super Bowl Tournament for 2020 here on the Retro Sports Gamer channel. I am bringing in Sammy Smith 33. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. Just happy to be announcing again and working with you. And we'll see uh, what the big Brock can uh, bring to the to the table here today in these matchups. Every player, excuse me, every team rather gets Stan Brock as the right tackle. So what does that mean for the return game? That means fast. <laughs> Kickoff um, returns, baby. Yes. Should see should see some big ones or at least some quality ones this time with that uh speed at least. Forty four maximum speed and average condition to be exact. Let's switch over here. Of course you got just the benefits of the blocking game as well, but uh, eight bit and JJT tune battle, uh, Denver Broncos, San Diego Chargers. So uh, in in other weeks, the matchups have been a little, let's we'll call them diverse, based on all the modifiers that we've had with the with the ROMs. Uh, this is very conservative as we're going to be going into traditional tournament matchup calling in the playoffs in week five here. Let's just talk about the Broncos and the Chargers, uh, kind of two teams that that have similar uh, personalities, if you will. Yeah, I'd say on defense especially, they have uh, a good safety. They have a good two good linebackers, well, two good linebackers, Sean O'Neill, and the Broncos have Mecklenburg and Fletcher. And then, uh, you know, you have Dennis Smith and Atwater, and you got Vincey Glenn and Gil Bird. I mean, Bird's probably better. You got two quarterbacks that are a little wild, so <laughs> see what happens. Yeah, we're going to get some uh, – they both have that where you get the interchangeable – QB with the the lob ball or the or the rocket arm. So first down and ten for eight bit and company. Of course, I mean, massive one tapper. Thing Call play. You it with Elway though is that speed on the run and Humphrey and Butts are similar. Humphrey tends to fumble more. <laughs> oh, he's got. Oh man, he had he had guys Speak, open. Speaking of Elway's legs, well, do you want to risk with that pass control third down and one? Yeah, that's true. Let's see if some shenanigans happen so we can start losing our mind like we did last week. Cross to Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee, diving Ooh, grab 50. There it is. I'm sorry, Mark Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Did it mean to get 50 yards on that pass play, then go out of bounds? Let's see if Stan Brock's <laughs> popcorning anyone. Yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking. Uh, you'd see some massive popcorning too, maybe <laughs> from the Brockster. By the way, Playing you all can uh, record that and, uh, and put. Uh, you know, we want to do a mixtape and and uh, sample that. We give you permission. Yep. <laughs> Steve Sewell with the reception Ooh, underneath here. Sewell. Second and two. He's moving fast down the field with Elway here. I mean, besides that first pick play, he's he's got it rolling. Humphrey taken down 
inside the 10 for a first down. Did not go for the sideline. And now the offset eye formation. Here's run one. Tap off. There it is. 8-bit oh. has it to the house. Touchdown. 8-bit courtesy yeah. of Bobby Humphrey. The Bobcat, as the people's champ would call him. Um, 8-bit's eight, got those those tapping fingers. You got to get him on the, on the mic. Yeah, he's with been you. A, a legal, illegally tapping somehow, but I don't know. I've I've played him live at uh, the bar that we have Millard's Mayhem at for just friendlies, and I don't know. He's he's got a unique tapping method that works pretty well. So he's using like a vibrator. Yes. 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 It's a, well, or I'm, so, I'm sorry, a massager, a personal <laughs> massager. Yes. <laughs> The uh, <laughs> politically correct term. See, I don't know why guys use Lassic right away. I know he's got the loft ball and maybe better accuracy, but I think the speed of passing with Tolliver, I mean, just to check it out first and see what you can get away with with your opponent would be, I don't know, my bet to start out with at least. I, I think and then the if main he's not thing is the it. pass control factor and the jump pick factor. All right, so here comes Buds yeah. taking down 30, fourth down and 10, nowhere to go, JJT. Off to a rough start here. We'll see what he decides to do. But uh, with Tolliver, I mean, you're not really looking for that deep pass all necessarily. You're doing those short, quick passes, which I think is an advantage. So, I don't know. I think the same thing with Brister and Strom. Here comes the punt from JJT. Sammy oh, Winder. The kid. And in Ooh, the end zone. So you don't want to do that, kids. You want to make sure it's in the field of play. In case there's a yeah, fumble, no it usually corner. leads to a touchdown. So right now, 8-bit in the driver's seat. Usually he gets a little lax, though, if he gets a lead. So we'll see uh, if JJ Insider information can... here from Millard's Mayhem. Yeah. Team Wolfley <laughs> 3. Is that What are you guys going to call the next one? Seven nothing, by the way, as we go to the second. Uh, it is going to be related to Wolfley. I actually thought of a creative way. I've talked to him actually about it. He's 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 on board, so I'm happy. <laughs> that's that's amazing. I, I just saw his one tweet said you guys are hilarious or something. Crossfield oh. Vance Johnson's got him in strike thirty. Ooh, 25, that's good, LA. Twenty you like that, LA. Ten. Hey, if you can get... five, out of bounds oh. at the two. If you can get three. that, LA, Denver's dangerous. That's that's some shit right there. I mean, cross court There's with the that angle one. pass. That's another and he's touchdown. Got the touchdown. Whoo! Fourteen zero right away. Bobby, put in, put in blowjob, Tolliver. <laughs> oh, what just happened? <laughs> Fourteen nothing. Ten for over San Diego. It's just the first game of the week. We got to pace ourselves. Holy I shakies! Mean, Here's I comes. Mean, but, oh, and speaking to BJ's, here comes Cox. Yeah, uh, this I mean, is it, it's all relatable. You got the pickle back there. You got. I mean, you got Will Ferrell calling San Diego Wales vagina. I mean, there's all a course, lot of in German San Diego. <laughs> There's nothing to do with Saint, with Saint Diego. Bottom. Oh, should have went to the bottom. It's guy. Miller time. You just tell me about that before we start to stream it over his head and into the end zone. 3.08 yeah. here, Tecmo time in the second. Yeah, we went on a Dell's trip, and Miller High Life was the beer of choice, and it, no hangover. So if you're thinking of switching beer or trying a new beer, Miller High Life's the way to go. The champagne. It won't, it won't let you down. Yeah, and it's champagne, so it pleases the ladies, too. Ladies. Marion Butts. Uh -oh. Oh, he and got he's through there, squeaked loose. through 50. Squeaky Butts to the 44 to first down, JJT. Great run. Yeah, that was a good run. And stick with Butts. He's he's fast against this Denver D. Lassick Ooh, doing it with pickle. his legs. Did not want the cross field throw to Miller. Second down and three. Ooh. Caravello's in the game. Ooh, we got to go with Rod. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a hot, uh, hard Rod here and good. Oh, yeah. If we take a look at the uh, Brock and see what he's cooking. Oh, that would that would be great if we could see what he was cooking. He's cooking up a bad cox Ooh. right now. That's what he's cooking. Yep, 
now he's got CC Walker. He. <laughs> All righty. Back to the action. All right, finally, second down and three bottom hash mark. Just over two minutes, your call play. Ooh. Quit early, oh, no. and it's overthrow pick. That was forced. I think you got to go to that hot route up top. Yeah, Tony Braxton's going to get you every time with her lyrical Don't poise. Don't break my passing game. <laughs> you know that chick was bald? No. Oh, my Oh, Lord. my junior Seau back from the grave in the house. Touchdown. Oh. Too soon? Dude, no. No concussion stopping that one. Or a gunshot. 14 to 6. Jeez. There it is. Come back. And I believe he gets the ball at half. 14 7, 8 bit. Can't do much about that one. That was just a rough. That's Tecmo being Tecmo. Yep. That's that's the great part about this game that I like the most. Those anything can happen moments like that. And you're right back in it. I mean. It's just fun. I, it makes playing this game so much more fun with that unknown. Another call play. JJT, Ooh, no. and he must have that uh, play picking app installed. He took, he took my uh, advice. Well, I think he's picked that play a lot during this game because he did it the first play. He has two touchdowns with it. Yeah. So Risky throw there, third and 12. Big stop here. And, and he got go. him. He says you're not getting – you got to beat me in another play, and I, I don't blame him. Fourth down and 16, punting time. I'm surprised this Richard third run play is not the the down pitch play with Humphrey. All right, let's see. see. If he puts butts in the up. receiving game or not. Nope. Nope. He's trusting Miller. Oh, he's going to get the rush. Oh, oh, oh 8-bit falls this, on his ass. This is he Throw it. Throw it. You gotta he get deeper than that. Let's it I go. Think he waited too long, and he went to the wrong guy. Uh, oh, look like he had it! Oh, oh my goodness man. sake! Fourteen seven. Welcome Jeez. to halftime. JJT trailing eight bit, and someone got oh. salty and skipped halftime. Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I predicted this earlier. When eight uh, bit gets a lead, he's kind of he kind of relaxes. Vlasic's in good, Ooh. so that helped maneuver a little bit. Oliver in bed, and he, he must be blowjobbing somebody on the side. Maybe someone bad. Maybe it was Arthur Cox. What uh, First down and 10. Yes. Oh, butts. Let's predict. Butts. No. Right, here's pass Classic. one. Okay, he's got holy guys. shit, Carl Mecklenburg oh. running through there. Second I can't down mess 20. with the mech. Yeah. And run through. Oh, yeah, rot roll. Oh, gets a corner. Uh, ooh. Saves the safety, third down and 17. See if he does a run three here. And he does. Good call. Nostradamus skills. And the first and more. Oh, boy. Big run, butts. To the 40. Zagging, zagging 50. Brum, 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 brum. I didn't mean to take that one for me. That was a good call. All the way to the 49th first town, JJT. Huge play. Run three with either of these teams is always has an opportunity for a massive gain. Yeah. That's why I was kind of surprised uh, 8-Bit did the Sewell play instead. All right. Let's see. Second down and five. Uh, the weak side open, not as big of a fan, although there is a uh, risk-reward factor. But you should be able to out-tap the bottom guy with Fletcher and then just yes. engage him. And there's the JJ, so there just throws it, it up. And JJT with an Anthony Miller JJ touchdown. And we're about to be tied. Makes you wonder if uh, Vlasic was good in that second quarter, if he would have completed that last throw. This is true. 14 14. And that certainly would have changed the scope a... of things. And we have a game again. We'll see if 8 Ben and his uh, personal massager can do some damage here. With Bobby Humphrey. Yep, use those taps. Or Sammy Mississippi Mudwinder. Always a good now, so he'll be at 25 good. maximum speed. That's huge. And then I think Clarence K was in good. So he'll be at he 38. All right, so here's a run three to the top. Bobby Humphrey. 
Yeah, not a lot there of room there. Four yards, second and six. Yeah, I think just with him selecting Gil Bird as your corner, too, you want that run three. I mean, it pretty much takes that defender out. So I don't know why you wouldn't keep that in there. So, you know, even that run um, four would be pretty effective at this point. Yeah, I agree. But once again, he, oh, he should have threw it. He had Bird down at the bottom and Elway and good. Second down and four after the six-yard scramble, and here's another run three. So 8-bit seems to be playing a lot of, are you going to take away this play or not? Because I, yeah. I can keep going down the field with it. And I think that's the approach. Now he's on the top hash mark. Pass one, maybe? Okay, here we go. No. It almost looks like he's picking a, a same run play and a same pass play every time until he's going to call it. Well, he switched up here. There is Humphrey. He's loose. Out of bounds, short of the 50 and a first down. It doesn't look like there's anything to disguise that pass one. So that's that was an easy call. <laughs> I didn't even realize that as I was as I look it sounded I sounded more intelligent for like one second. Here's the pitch now to the bottom on run one. Oh nice juke. Ooh, Tiptoeing the on the sidelines to the third forty two yard line first yeah, down. That's that's tiptoeing to its finest. So O'Neal should be able to get in behind here, but he needs drone help. And that's what's really hurting JJT right now is he can't make early contact when he has those opportunities and normally run one has a vulnerability from that top linebacker position coming across the formation but if you can't out tap yeah. your opponent you're in trouble cross field vance johnson has him in stride touchdown eight bit Elway is on we saw that. fire yeah he is on fire i mean and he threw it with a defender and he still let him perfectly whoo that's tough yeah when, um, when these shitty quarterbacks are hitting throws like that that's a good day at the office. 21-14 as we enter the fourth. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Ooh. The line side, Marion Butts. Oh, you the don't pack. want him Here he goes him. And oh. take him down. I think he should have <laughs> let his blockers help out a little bit there, but first down and 10. The thing is, you score here, you're going to give your opponent some time. Um, I don't know if that was intentional or not. Uh, it may have just been a misclick, but uh, it, it may work out for him if he does give up a touchdown. Yeah. I think of the same. Wants Miller. He's going. He wants it all. Ooh. Well, he almost got himself a pick, second and ten. Classic still in good. Ooh, Quinn Early is not ready to play. But you almost got to leave him in. Nate Lewis. That's a white claw gas moving. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, what y'all drinking tonight? This, this is the Wish.com version of White Claw when they run out of White Claws at the bar. <laughs> High noon, sun sips. <laughs> it's like the dollar store White Claw. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> White Claw General. <laughs> Single back formation. Here we go. Pass two. Oh, he thinks he's Ooh. Odell. Look at him walking through the formation there. That's yeah. nice. Third down and eight. We love you, Odell. Odell's good stuff. He's got a Jerry Rice jersey for me. Did a little jersey swap last Cleveland. I gave him a, a Reggie White one. He found me oh, a Jerry Rice one. Nice. Ooh, Probably he's got to get it in a 9XL or something for it to fit me. <laughs> First down and 10 after the JJT scramble. You could just sleep in it. Uh, a blanket. Jerry Rice blanket jersey. I didn't know that Jerry Rice played nose tackle. That's crazy. First down and 10. <laughs> <laughs> for JJT, if he could figure out how to push the button on his controller to pick his play. There we go. Single back, top hash mark. Here's run one. Oh, No blocking help there. And, well, that wow. ends that play. Second and nine. Yeah, well, I think you, you just keep doing those run downs. I think those are working. Yeah, I don't think that run one has any hope unless he has some blocking up top. And if he, yeah. if he goes with Atwater... No one's going to block Atwater. I know he doesn't have the speed. Bernstein with the reception oh. taken down. Short of marker, third down and three. I thought he might have got that through or both missed. He might have had, he might have had a score there. But it might be a good thing, too, because he's wasting time. He loves running. Oh, the pickle. 
you know, I, I think he's trying to take off. away as much time as possible. I think you, you can't get rid of 245 here. Yeah. Here we go. All right, here's the weak side opening. Uh, ooh. Ooh. And now timeout's being taken by 8-bit. Second down and seven. If he doesn't hit that lineman, I think he scores there. I think that lineman held him up just enough for that drone and 8-bit to get back up there. See if he takes away the run three or not. So here's that pass. He did oh, not let it. it go. Now he does, and he oh, has he Anthony that. Miller in the end zone. Oh, did you see that guy sliding <laughs> across the screen? <laughs> Not quite as fun as the uh, the cats in the cage. The guy, the tight end, can't run his route properly, but uh, that was still fun. Twenty one, twenty one. Here we go. W- what are the odds, Bobby Humphrey fumbles if he doesn't get out of bounds? You mean Sammy Winder? Uh, we'll see. You know, they they all have that running speed. I I was tempted to maybe throw on condition checker just to see how our friend Stan Brock is doing uh, on either side, but uh, okay. I'd have to figure how the hell that works. First down and 10. That would require, like, skills of technology, apparently. Yeah, I have no clue how to do that. <laughs> you got some technical experts on there. I wish I was one of them. Up the middle. There it is. Second down and oh, two. That's danger. That is danger. <laughs> Tough play to stop. Run. Here's run yes. one. But you also yeah, I'm blockers. Humphrey fumbling. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he needed that drone. So if JJT is in a really bad spot here, if he's got to call his plays because he's not getting the drone support. Or he's got to start using, there you go. Call his play, there you go. Look at his controller, I don't care. Second down and 10. Or you got to use O'Neal or Glenn. You do not want to be bird. Well, here you can, but not with the run. Oh, get up. Oh, oh the drone wow. block is there. He gets a little help, JJT does, in third and 10. Why wouldn't he go to the Vance? He was wide open. The gay artist. <laughs> Pass forward. Wants Vance Johnson. Oh, and he gets to the dive. Are you shitting me? Oh, that play is God. unstoppable today. First down and 10. It's like they almost made uh, Elway to a usable quarterback just for this particular game. Nears run yeah, one, living and dying. I think they made him his actual uh, power. Have a, what he should have actually been this game. <laughs> yeah, I think there was a vapor trail on that last one. First down and 10 after the run one here. Wow, yeah, he's going to try to seconds. score here. Watch this fumble. Be careful. Bobcat, here you go. Danger. Oh, he's smart. I think he put the field goal. Is he going to pick a play? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I wouldn't. Uh, Why? Yeah, you got to keep If he gets well, blocked, you I don't. In. And you get tackled immediately, you still have a chance to. Ooh, I think he's got it. It's and good. it's good. So there you go. There's still time here with uh, JJT. He does have that massive return speed. Every player does right now. The Stanbrock returner. So let's see if he can make this into something. Bring it down. Bring it down. And the answer to that question is no. <laughs> it was a really good game, and then nothing. Then nothing. Yep. Uh, JJT unfortunately l- loses a tough one after uh, coming back uh, from 14 down. Uh, yeah, man, 210 for Elway. I think that was the story of the game. Yeah, I totally agree. Those those cross passes. I mean, those are hard enough to get with even a super good quarterback. And then Elway's hit, I think, at least three or four of them on the money with defenders. I think on every one of them, and just led Vance the gay artist up the field. So I don't even know what that reference is. I'm just going to roll with it. Vance, the gay artist. Is, oh. is, is he, is he uh, uh, batting for the other team? Is that what's going on? Yeah. After he played, he became an artist. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, played the field. Hey, you know what? Good for him, right? Uh, yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with that. 24-21, your no. score, 8-bit over JJT. I learned something every time I do a broadcast with you. We got game two. <laughs> Are we done yet? Game two. Coming that's, up next. That's the only NFL trivia right there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> On next week's theme, Michael Sam. Uh, we'll see you yeah. in the next one. Do you smell what Stan Brock is cooking and what Ed Pivos is drinking? It's Trojan 1979, week five. 
Every team gets Stan Brock. Enough said. Shield and Pete Titteri, Fast Ed's with me. We got two really yeah. good freaking players and two very mediocre commentators going to battle here. Finally, Fast Ed is back broadcasting. And how, Retro sports gamer. How do you pronounce uh, Pete Tits' name? I don't know. It doesn't good, but... matter how you pronounce his name. <laughs> yes. All right, we're both imitating The Rock. I love it. Let's go. Tampa Bay and the Redskins break down this matchup. That's a good game right here. Uh, two above, slightly above average run games. Uh, really good passing game for Washington, except the quarterback's suck but the key is going to be can he run with Testaverde consistently when he calls passes um that could be a drive you know killer on defense from uh for Washington so we'll see look at this oh popcorn Return. Right. this is the Brock this is the Brock advantage right here you put a guy Riggs who bounces people off and you got him super fast that's what's going on right here folks <laughs> Look dancing at this. around. Look at the blocking. Da, 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 wow. And we already have 339 remaining here of Techno Time in the first quarter after all that shenanigans. Uh th- this is gonna you can see a lot of that this week. Just really good returns because of the extra speed. If your team yeah. happens to have a thumper, makes it even better. Quick throw to Gary Clark, he goes 30. 25. Taken down to the 23 yard line on first down for the shield. And the run game should improve, too, because the right tackle is Brock, and he's got, I believe, 69 hitting power and average conditions. So very, very good, solid offensive tackle. Nice Ooh. dive by P. P- Titteri. I just want to put this out here, talking about the actual players here, Shield and P. Titteri. Two of the most cerebral players you'll see, just really low mistake tech mode that you'll see from these players. Well, so far I'm seeing it, but it's only four plays in. <laughs> And uh, this dive play, the shield is definitely fond of it for good reason. It is very effective, fourth down and three. I mean, it's been getting it's it's an easy three yards if he doesn't dive like he did last time. I mean, he's not calling it here. Yeah, he's got the other dive the play. Oh, he... oh my goodness, P. Tits gets out of that. P. But Titter here's the thing: stop. how did that's such a risk because the offensive line is so good for Washington as it is. Plus that right tackle is upgraded and he's still plowed through him. What a play. Pete Titteri now going to do some work with Vinny Testifer and Sergio Maximum Speed. Hands it off to Jerry Curl Anderson. Here he goes. There's a chop block, I believe, and he's off to the races 40, zigzagging across the 50. No flags. I see no flags. Taken down to the 39-yard line. Huge run by Pete Titteri. Uh and it looked like the shield was finally getting into the picture there, but he could have gotten a few more yards, uh, but that zigzagging ran out there. So Daryl Green across the formation, gets the bump, gets the tackle down with the 35, second down and six. Boy, he's still got four yards on that. It looked like he was going to get nothing. Not bad. Martin Mayhew on defense. Here's pass four. Good drone coverage. p is going to go. get it done with Vinny's legs and a first down. That's what I thought he'd start doing this game, is start running with Vinny Testaverde. That's a big strength for Tampa Bay, so... Call play. Lost the JJ. It deflected perfect position by the shield. God, Second a call ten. play can ruin a whole drive. Luckily, that was only on first down, not third down. It's got open receivers galore here. And the player two. Wow. Failureness. Test, test the word wordy, really? No, it's, it's player two. You can have wide open guys and just throw it into the, into the stands. I don't know. I don't necessarily buy that. It's proven. 100%. Ron Kitts in the hole. Touchdown. Pete Titteri. Doesn't matter. Good play right there. He called another run play. Left all four wide receivers open. This time, Testaverde delivered a strike. Three. Touchdown. 7 nothing. Pete Titteri over the shield. Boy, it all... Here. It all got set up on that fourth down where he plowed through the offensive lineman somehow and stopped the run up the middle in the backfield. Comes Riggs again. Regain possession. Here we go. Riggs throws them off. Stiff arm, bobbing and weaving. Look at this. I love it. Welcome Boy, to the second consi- quarter already. My goodness. 7 nothing. Pete right over the shield. <laughs> Consider that a victory there for Tampa Bay. He's only at like the 33-yard line on the return. So Riggs and Monk are in good. It looks like Clark, Ooh. Biner, and Bad. Well, I s- you might go to the passing well quite a bit this uh, this drive. Now I would. I mean, 
running with Bryant or throwing it to to would you say Monkson good? I mean, yeah. And uh, check R- it out Rippin to him. is in. R- Rippin is also uh, in bad. So I believe three of the four DBs in average condition can jump pick this QB right now. So that's something to keep mm-hmm. in mind. Second down and two. Well, yeah, Haddix is just uh, an absolute stud out there. So he's yeah, he's gonna run it. Humphreys is a little bit faster than uh, Rippin, so you can get four or five yards if you have to with uh, Humphreys. That's a good strategy right there. I think the only thing you can throw was an underneath throw, or if you want to go for the back and B on a third down play, there's you're going to have to run the ball or run it with a QB. It has to be a sure throw. Second down to two. Never, never a sure throw with the uh, Washington quarterbacks. But he's trying it here. He's got got Sanders. Sanders in stride, and he's got a touchdown. Shield. What a pass. What a pass. Even this thing up here. That right there is a blockbuster moment right there. Blockbuster um, play sponsored by Blockbuster Video, the only one remaining in Bend, Oregon. It's Oregon. It doesn't Oregon. matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter what, what it is. <laughs> if he you don't love look the easy. Attitude Era of the WWF, because that's what it was back then, none of this WWE stuff. Yeah, it was uh, the, the 80s and the 90s were really the best times. And then once they went PG, went downhill. Believe me, I've been I've watched for on and off for 30 plus years. So I watched the Hogan years, Macho Man years. I watched the Rock Stone Cold years. I watched after that uh, Brock Lesnar years, even though he was on and off. All right, here we go. This is an important drive here. Uh Tampa Bay can put some points on the board at the end. They have to have plenty of time. Time is not a factor right now. And Drone. he knows it. That's why he's running with Testa Verde. Drones get after him, but he gets free. Second down and two. Weak side open run coming here. Let's see how he uh, tries to stop this one. I think he's going to take green. Yep. Going to get that one-on-one. Tap. The first down he, uh, is going to happen here, but at least he got tackled in the field. A play which is what you want to do. Two Hope whole yards, but that's all he needed. He's killing a little clock, too. Run one's a call attacking Daryl Green. And he gets oh, the dive. That. Nice play. Second down and three. Wow. He had a block or two, and if he didn't hit that dive, you never know. Shield wow. is, has become very good at that, and a lot of the top players, they have that in their tool set. Yeah. No, he, that was impressive. Look at that. He's <laughs> green wow looked like Troy Palomalu there just flying in from the from the secondary to stop that run wow here's run three across the formation all oh, gets caught on the blocker nice. but he does have the first down short of the 50 does P. Titter I 126 take what time here in the second time is now a factor I mean he's almost in field goal range but he's Call play. I think it touchdown time no. oh. the carrier Oh, good throw just slightly out of his reach. Oh, man, that, I thought he should have caught that. Wow. Same play going after him has Anderson. Not sure why he forced the issue there. And now Anderson it's gonna is going to cost free. him. Risk, big risk. He should have kept him within field goal range because now he's got a chance for a touch and I would have never rushed there. It was a big risk and the reward was... Not good. Called run three. Plenty of room to operate here. Pass one. Big pass loss. Three. Here we go. Big loss. Eight yards. Well, he's got a couple shots he can take at the end zone. So he's going to run it All right, down to the 11, 12 yard line here. All right. I would take a shot at the end zone. I mean, I know you want three, three points, but take a shot. Uh, not now. He's got no choice, though. Oh, here comes the field goal attempt. That could have been picked. Could get that JJ action, although I think the shield had the position anyway. Daryl Green off the edge, gets the bump, no rush. Kick it's is away. Doinks in. Steve pole. Christie is going to be in. He's, he's uh, I think, the second best kicker in the game next to Nick Lowry. So, Well, Riggs could return this. I mean, it's unlikely, but it's possible here. because this is the Brock. Everybody's got that right tackle with speed. 
Christy so hung back and it been taken down. Paid off. Well, walking to halftime, ten seven. Pete hit her eye over the shield. What did you see in that well, first half? Yeah, you weren't kidding. Both these guys are uh, very conservative, but smart at the same time. They're they're not turning the ball over. They're both running with the quarterbacks well. They're taking shots when they need to, but don't have to. It's kind of a you know conservative on both ends, but smart on both ends too. So I'm interested to see how this uh, half plays out if they get if they open it up a little bit more or they keep with their strategy. Wow, what a terrible return! Well, you know, just because you have the the good speed doesn't mean the rest of your blockers are going to do anything. Yeah, uh, they didn't do anything there. Yeah, wow. P. Titterai has not had the benefit of the return game because that, despite having Reggie Cobb with all that thumping yeah. hitting power, Cobb's is the same as Riggs basically. Big hitting power. Rest and, of soul, uh, by the way, Reggie Cobb, former Packer. I don't mention the Packers. I'm from Detroit, but. Thanks for making me say the word. He was a person. Thanks for making me say the word. It's right here, baby. All right. That field goal was big because he has the ball now in the second half, too. Put him up by one score. He's got four wide receivers open here. What's he going to do? Oh. Did not want to test the waters or just ran out of time. Second down and 18. Pete Titterai now I mean, really backed up. He had six Redskins coming at him when he was in the end zone there, and he just got out of the end zone, took the sack. Huge play. That I think he runs quickly. this ball. Oh, wow, I'm wrong. He's passing it. I thought he was going to run and what, get If you get a called yards. run, that's, that's two points. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think he's going to call a run. I mean, the odds of that are so it happened low to there. me in this week, <laughs> and I lost the, well, the game because of it. Yeah, I guess it's possible. He ran ass. anyway. He ran anyway with the quarterback, which was smart, and got uh, eight yards there, so nine yards. So this situation has put P. Titter right now in back in B mode. He's got to go cross field to carry. This is a low percentage throw. And it is intercepted by Martin Mayhew. Yeah, the, the team. former Detroit Lion GM. He we don't talk about the Lions. At, sucked at his job at GM, but he can pick off passes in this game. He may have ruined the team for a few years and when he was in charge after Matt Millen left and that wasted decade. But he can pick off passes in, in Tecmo Super Bowl. Martin Mayhew, one of the best in the game at picking off passes. So with He's the NFL draft that just happened, do you feel like the Super Bowl just happened for you guys? Are you, are you guys going good, all the way again? It was a good draft. You know, the Packers Listen, didn't I, make the playoffs in 2008, but when the, the Lions went on 16, it was better than the Super Bowl victory we got in 2010. I went to one of the Detroit casinos, MGM, when sports betting happened right before uh, coronavirus, and I placed a bet on the Lions winning the Super Bowl, and it's a huge payout if they do, obviously. But, see if there's a season. Nice pass to Art Monk. Gets out of bounds. He's got Art Monk nice at the game. tight end position, which Art Monk, I believe, it has the highest hitting power of any wide receiver in Tecmo Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people like to put rigs there uh, at tight end, but Monk's an interesting strategy because of the two passes. His pass three, pass four puts Monk in pretty good position to catch some passes. So I understand why he's doing that. Oh, what threw a run. the mess, and he's got a first down inside the 30-yard line. The tides have really changed here. Pete Titterai on his heels needs to keep the shield out of the end zone if he can help it. Pass one's a call. Humphreys staying near the line. Everybody's Scoot covered. To Sanders. Going. And just doesn't have the right angle. Second down and 10. That is the Washington Redskins quarterback I know and love right there, folks. Not the one you saw in the first half that hit Sanders in stride for the touchdown. He's trying it again, maybe. Nope. He's... Oh, oh, the drone pack. The creamsicle. Organ I mean, donor were... pack of linebackers there just reflecting the pass by accident. Third down I mean, the and whole 10. line was right there jumping to stop that. Big play here. Don't turn it over. You still got a field goal shot. He's going Cross for the touchdown. Field. Sanders. He's got Sanders got touchdown shield. Now, he did that in the first half. Tampa Bay did not learn from that. That is the I got schooled play of the game brought to you by my Oakland University student ID from 1996. There you go. Hey, you know what it's else school. happened in the 1996 season? Yes. What? Packers won the Super Bowl. Oh, uh, well, it's been a while. Not the Lions. Lions haven't won a playoff game since 1992 One. when I was there, so, well, 
the season. Either right? one. Yeah. I can't remember. It's There's been a 91 so long. season against the Redskins, I believe. No, 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 no. no, no they no, lost uh, against the Redskins. Cowboys. They beat the Cowboys and then they lost to the yeah. Redskins. Yep. Yeah. Um, I was at that game, by the way. Very sorry for you. That was a good game. No, not the Redskins game. The, uh, oh, okay. it was at the Redskins. I was De- at the Cowboys. Oh, I don't mind watching Dem Boys lose. All right, here goes uh, Anderson. He has some bias. By the way, the Shield, huge Cowboys fan, second down of five. P. Titteri down by four. I, w- I wonder if he's going to take a shot here at the end of the half or head of the quarter. I don't, I don't think he will. He took, well, now. Now he's got a chance. He's going to run. Well, he had an open receiver, so he took it. I mean, he took a shot last quarter, and it cost him an interception. So, I mean, he really needed to try something because of that first down sack, so he kind of got screwed. But he's he, both teams are really ball control savvy. So I don't really see any shots being taken, except it, it's funny Washington has had chances, and they've taken advantage of it. So that, they, that they Washington Ken Harvey was you know. uh, a little uh, suspect with when you have uh, Testaverde just running on the outside. Like the risk reward factor there was. Oh yeah, I'm surprised he threw that. I thought he was running it, but hey, like this. I mean, take your seven yards. Oh, get out of bounds. Jeez, close. Pass four incoming at the top hash mark. Martin Mayhew on the defense for shield. Pititeri trailing by four. And we're going to see a lot of this. Nice. Now, Washington's still in good shape here. There's plenty of time. Even if Tampa Bay scores, see, they're trying to run some time off now. They're really going to, I mean, it's going to be really hard to run out the whole quarter and score a touchdown if they can. Uh, but we'll see. Especially uh, when you lose That yards. line just melted like butter second down and 12. Did he call the play? Because it looked like it. It, it might have been. It, it was. Boy. I, I didn't see the entire defense rush in on it. Oh, nice call here. Tap nice. off. Oh, P. Titteri with the tap. And here goes Jerry Curl Anderson. Let your soul glow to huge, the 50. Huge, huge play. 540. Out of bounds at the 36-yard line. First down and 10 for P. Titteri with 327 tech time here in the fourth. Trailing That's by four. That's a huge, huge advantage of tapping. That's a difference of a five-yard gain and a 30-yard gain. This is... JJ Risky. time over his oh it looks like it might have been over his head. He does get, but he puts the Whoa! ball on the ground, bouncing around, picked him up by the Redskins, and it's a cold play. So here comes Cook. Oh my gosh. That's disgusting. Zigging, zagging. Oh. 30. This is gonna be a house call. I don't think it was a wasty time here. Wow. Nope, he just takes it all the way in. Touchdown that is shield. The game killer, a blockbuster killer play of the game right there. Sponsored. By Blockbuster Video in Bend, Oregon. That Oregon is the dagger right there. He had it. He had it. He timed the JJ perfectly on the call play. Caught the ball near the sideline too, and he fumbled it inbounds. Picked it up right away, and there was absolutely nothing stopping him. Wow. Oh, it's brutal. Here comes Cobb out of the end zone. I mean, I this would love to see a miracle. Blocking. I would love to see a field goal, or not a field goal, a touchdown and maybe a miracle onside kick. But, you know, just because I've never really seen that before in this game on player two. But And if he's going to if he's gonna do that, he needs to get a Hail Mary on one of the first two plays. He's got two plays to get a Hail Mary with enough time to get an onside kick and get the ball back. Future okay, right lining be, it up, going for Anderson. He's got a shot. Might be over. No, he's got a shot. Got the JD. He's got the touchdown. P. Okay. T. So okay. he called the first play. He had to have it on that one or the next one. Now, can we get that was easy an onside kick for player two, which I haven't seen happen. That in, was easy. It wasn't easy, so I can't. I can't do it. It wasn't easy. But what the heck? All right, if he can get the first onside kick I've ever seen player two get in my life, that would be the shit. Oh, he didn't even get the onside kick. What is he doing? That's game. He accidentally didn't kick it. He, he, maybe, I don't know. Maybe he, he wants to fumble. I don't know. It. No, he mistimed it, I'm pretty sure. He had nothing to lose with the onside kick. I mean, you know what I mean? There's nothing to lose. I mean, he's not going to fumble it, obviously, but. It's a tough spot. He <sighs> is pinned back here if he were if he were to get a call play. Uh, punting it. It's. He could punt it here. It's true. But uh, 
Fumble it. I want to see a fumble. Come on. Oh, he's, Calvin Bryant's ah. going to get – oh, he did not get out of bounds. He's in bounds. Oh, wow. It's the first down, and I think your punt's going to come here. That could have been disastrous. You never know. Well, he's he's been a good sport, I guess, in not punting. I would personally punt it, but hey. And he runs out of bounds, Ooh. so Pete Tidry loses a tough one after that house call for Marcus <sighs> Cook. 21-17. Killed it. Boy, both these teams, really good ball control. No run game for Washington, but he had two really good passes by Stan Humphrey to Ricky Sanders for two touchdowns. And that was the difference right there, really, to be honest with you. Uh, good game overall. Two really solid, conservative players that don't make mistakes, just like you said. That was nice. Good game. Shield trampled over P. P 21 17. Stay tuned. We got another game for you coming right after this. Do you smell what Stan Brock is cooking? It's Viking Mo and Icon Boxing Club, Trojan 1979. Here in week five, every team gets Stan Brock at the right tackle position, which boosts the return game. I'm happy to welcome into the booth the founder of the channel, Retro Sports Gamer Tom. How are you doing? Yo, I'm doing fantastic tonight. Looks like we got Icon Boxing Club again in a Cleveland Browns versus Packers. We just saw one of those last week. Yeah, we called the Borenzo White matchup with these two teams as a Shield and Icon Boxing Club. So you should be familiar with the rosters since we just did this one. Oh, I'm familiar with all the rosters unless there's a, you know, a guy like Stan Brock in there or Borenzo that you got to familiarize yourself with. But I'm very familiar with these two teams. So we're going to see a Stan Brock against Matt Brock. It's going to be Brockception. <laughs> You think about it, when the Cleveland Browns line up against the Packers, it's going to be some Brock-on-Brock Brock crime. Let's get into it. Well, this is going to be fun in the return game because both guys have a high hitting power uh, returner. You got Haddix on one side and Mac on the other side. So you're going to see some popcorning, hopefully on kickoff returns, but then pretty much the rest of the way it's going to be a normal game. Chris Jackie decided to grace us with his presence, leaving the grocery store, which I normally find him at. And you'll kick this one off eventually. Maybe I should get the helmets correctly. Would you guys like that? Would you guys like to see the actual players that are in this game? I would love it. Well, let's fix that. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that underway. This is the high production quality you get here on the Retro Sports Gamer Channel at GP Land. Oh my God, here we go. Sorry about that, folks. All right, Mac out of the end zone to the five. 10, 11, and taken down, first down and 10. Pretty typical playbook here if you are the Browns. And you're going to see it fly, fly, fly. A lot of passing in this matchup always. And the back at B is coming. Wants Webster Slaughter. And he's double covered incomplete. Yeah, the Packers with double coverage are going to be able to stop some of those but probably not the majority of them so he'll keep he'll keep back and being it i'm sure call play here comes that jj attempt gets the does not get the jj or the dive triple covered incomplete third and ten i'm interested to see though on the offensive end how icon boxing club will handle this matchup because he he is a runner from what i've seen already he hits the Metcalf JJ, so he's got Metcalf in the passing game, has Mac in the running attack. Excellent defense on the first two downs, but the third one, Mikey Mo comes up with that big JJ. Mac on run one. Here's a tap off. Wow, Viking Mo with 18 beats Icon I can Boxing Club on that tap. Zigging, zagging, this, 35. Yeah. And out of bounds at the 33 yard line. First down, Viking Mo. An icon boxing glove is a good tapper, but he's not going to be able to tap an 18. So if Vikey Mo keeps that up, forget about it. QB Brown's doing with his legs, gets the first down and more first down and 10 for icon. Excuse me, Viking Mo again against icon boxing club. Wonder what the membership is to go, or what the membership cost to go to icon boxing club is right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing well, it's probably, buy doors one, probably open buy right now with COVID. In. You're probably not getting in, unfortunately. Unless he's deciding to just say screw it and open up. I'll say this. Icon Boxing Club was very instrumental in getting a lot of people off the bench and into this tournament, so much appreciation out to Definitely. Icon Boxing Club. 
Um, I think he was responsible for at least five players applying. So first down to go from the four, Viking Mo moving the ball well here in the first quarter. Sounds like quite the recruiter. Uh, I told him every time he touched down on the QB sneak for Viking Mo, I told him every player he gets to sign up, he can give me a, a punch to the face. So I have, <laughs> I'm going to have some dents. I'm going to look like Glass Joe by the end of this thing. Oh, you should have told me that. I would have recruited at least 10 players. <laughs> You've been I have a family, a man. A few, few punches to the noggin. I'm sure there are a few people in the Tegwa community that would love to. Oh, yeah. They would have a field day with that offer. But then they'd have to help me in the other way, so I don't know. It's like a compromise. <laughs> Haddix looks like a just rocket ship right now. Look at him go. Zigzagging. Oh, here's the, he's here's untouched here to the 40. The rock is cooking. Here it is. Haddock's looking quick. So who's the kick returner for the Packers? This is Michael It doesn't Haddock. matter who the kick returner is. <laughs> oh, and he gets all the way down within the 10. Doesn't seal the deal. <laughs> First and goal from the 8 off. Uh, here's the run one. Pitch to the bottom. Woodside and his 50 maximum speed. Nowhere to go. Second and seven. Well defended there on first down. Forces him back to the middle, and the drone help comes. I'd go right back to it here. Goes right up to the middle. Call play. Nice. Call in the play there. It gets tight early for Icon Boxing pass, Club. I think pass three would be a good option there. You have the JJ opportunity without WR2. This, this play's got some options, though. Cross field, it gets him to suck up. He's got the touchdown icon boxing club. So Viking Mo did not stay home against Sterling Sharp. And he pays the price. Icon, icon boxing club ties it up here with the extra point. Great execution by icon boxing club. Viking Mo just kind of caught in the middle there with too many guys open. And, you know, he made a guess and it wasn't the right guess on defense. Sterling Sharp touchdown 7 7. And he's here always. And he's always open. Mac. He's, oh, he's always open, yes. What's Sterling Sharp yet, Mac? Not a great return there, although we saw that great Haddock's return before. Tied game, Viking Mo. Plenty of time here in the second to do whatever he wants to do with this possession. Yeah, he hasn't had a good kick return at all. Well, when he can run it with QB Browns like that, he can get away with that. Even with uh, just the 19 maximum speed now, he's in bad condition. I mean, which team do you like to use in this matchup? Packers. I really don't like like it because it's just hard to play defense at all. But which team would you prefer? Packers. More team speed and a better running attack. Yeah. Better running attack. A little bit better defense. You know, quarterbacking not as good, but they're both scramblers too. They're both tremendous uh, teams. I think I think you need to be a little bit better if you want to have high production with QB Browns. I think there's a the, the better players can get more out of him. Definitely, yeah. It's kind of like a skill thing. You're betting on your skill in this matchup. And since I have none of it, I go with the Packers. First down to 10 <laughs> for Viking Mo. And Vi Viking Mo is just getting down the field uh, methodically. He's trying to drain this clock. Newsom oh. drops the ball. That's rough. Second How does down that happen? Bad those, condition. those are the ones that 75 pass control quarterback and you got a stationary receiver well, dropping it's it. It's down to 69 now because he's in bad. Oh, okay. And out of bounds. So he's still running around like there's no one there. Third down and three. Important down to distance for Icon Boxing Club. Ooh, he probably wanted him on that run three action. Didn't call the play. Slaughter is open, gets the auto dive. Not sure what the delay was there, but welcome back to the game. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while we see that with the emulator where she just kind of seizes and comes back. So here's a weak side open on first down. Johnny Holland. I used to wear that jersey. All y'all that went to Tecmo, Milwaukee, second down and two. You had a Johnny Holland jersey for real? Uh, it was a jersey that was modified. It was an A.J. Hawk jersey where we put duct tape over the back of it and wrote Holland on it. Okay. We actually wrote Holland yeah. because the H was already there. 
Right. Here's the pitch to Mac. Mac. Oh, we got a chop block possibly. Does not get the popcorn in the secondary and down to the eight yard line. Excuse me, nine yard line first and goal. And Viking Mo's right where he wants to be to drain a little bit of clock before he tries to punch it in here, which I think he'll be able to do. Oof. Risky out of throw. The back of the end zone there. I think that's pretty low risk considering even QB Brown's a 69 pass control. Uh, if it happens to land, there's still a chance of a CC. And here comes okay. Mac. The pitch there. See what you're saying. B fumble. And it's out of bounds. You might see a field goal attempt coming if he doesn't convert here. He's got to come up with his best play right now. He's really close, so it makes it difficult. So he's got to find a stationary receiver, play the high-low game. And he's just going to try to get close. So this close in, I think he's going to try to do the double tap. I could be wrong. And he's taking the points. It's it's hard not to get any points off this drive. Fourth down and four, just a little bit too much. He could have went for it, and the field goal is good. But you can never fault the player for taking the points to take the lead. So Viking Mo is going to kick this off to Icon Boxing Club. Uh, I think normally you'd, you'd feel you wouldn't care that much about Haddock's returning, but given the situation with the Stan Brock modifier, oh, so contained very well, 26 seconds remaining. You still have Sterling Sharp. Be interested to see if Woodside goes in the pattern. He does not change that configuration yet. No, I, I, that's something I think that you don't always have to do. But I see why you would do it. 44 max speed, get him at receiver. But he's really just trying to pick a play to get sharp open downfield. And he's blitzing at first. He has Johnson manned on defense. That's probably not the best guy to use if you want to be in pass coverage. But here it's up to sharp. Midfield's the guy you want. And I thought that was a little long in the tooth before he let that go. Welcome to halftime. 10 to 7. As that ball goes out of the back of the end zone, what did you see in that first half, Tom? Well, I saw the Brock is cooking come through one time on the Icon Boxing Club end of things with a big, huge return to get his touchdown. But overall, it was a time of possession dominated by Viking Mo and a lead by Viking Mo. But now Icon Boxing Club getting the ball first, a chance to respond and take the lead. So we'll see if he's able to do that. A little popcorn for Haddock's really good return. I'll pass the 20. And just for reference, getting a return to the 15 is actually fairly decent in Tecmo. Uh, someone's an excellent there. Was that Sharp? Fontenot, who is? God, help us out, chat. Um, By the way, don't forget to like this video. If we can get 60 oh yeah, viewers, sure. we'll give away a console. We talked about that last couple of weeks. We got real close. Got over 50 viewers last week. Would really like your help so we can start giving away some really cool stuff to you guys. Share these videos out. Let people know that we're live on Wednesday nights. Throwing up. Guest play. Gets the JJ in between three defenders. Great play by Icon Boxing Club. Nice delivery. See, that's the kind of stuff you could do on guest plays when you have good receivers and a bad defense. In other matchups, you wouldn't throw that ball, but that was a good risk to take. Viking Mo with the taps again against Icon Boxing Club there, uh, and that makes that run one really difficult to justify because uh, if they run behind the defense, it's just not that effective. Third down of four. I don't think Icon Boxing Club is probably used to losing taps, so he's having to adjust his game here versus Viking Mo because he's winning the taps. Oh, he's got it through the middle on a call play. Whoa, ghosting through. Or Is this Lorenzo White? What happened here? <laughs> I don't know. That, that might have been a little ghosting action there. He found a seam somehow and a huge gain on a guest play. That's that's heartbreaking for Viking Mo. And it happened almost again. He got positive yards there, second down and seven. And second you know there's that NES seven. flicker trick that developers use, and I think sometimes that comes into play when you see that ghosting through a few players. He's got... Ed West, the toolbox, stationary, for a touchdown. And he takes yeah, the lead. And both of his touchdowns, Viking Moe's kind of stuck in the middle. He had guys 
up there, plus the you know the magic man running up that could have ran in the touchdown, so he was just caught in a bad spot. And Icon Boxing Club executes and gets it in there right before the dive. All right, kick off to Kevin Mack. See if we can get a big return here from Viking Mo. He's due. I mean, he hasn't seen a really good return yet. Man, only out to the 12. He was looking fast, too. He just didn't get it. Pagels one good. Slaughter's and bad. Pagels one of those guys that you don't really see, but he does have a faster, uh, what's it called, max speed, too. We're probably not going to see him. Most people don't even consider him because the pass control of QB Browns is just too high. But he does have that just in case you wanted to know. Yeah, most of your 44 running speed guys with a hit power have 25 maximum speed. He's got 31. Oh, QB Browns accidentally runs out of bounds maneuvering away from that defender. It happens sometimes. The quarterback's a little bit faster than you're used to, and you just kind of step on the line. Going to good I condition, do Newsom down the field here. He's got the diving grab, huge gain to the 34-yard line. First down, Viking Mo. Just throwing in coverage. You could do that in this matchup. Just keep it keep it flowing. Run is to Mac to the top. Isolation tap time. And yeah. He gets the first down and more down to the 19. He's in the red zone. First down, Viking Mo. Because of the matchup, you know, he's not going to bust a huge run because there's no fast running backs for the Browns. But uh, if if there were, the you know, some of those he could house. It's an adjustment you have to make when you're used to winning taps. Here comes the weak side open. Engages for the taps right away for Holland. Zigging, zagging. Fumbles out of bounds at the five. And a first down for Viking Mo. Welcome to the f uh, fourth quarter. 14-10. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, he played great defense right there if he was bound to win the tap, but he's not winning them, so he's able to bust a big gain out of that. From the bottom hash mark, first and goal from the five. Tim Harris and his finger pistols across the formation on run three. He's got a blocker, and he's got the end zone. Can't get the dive. Touchdown, Viking Moan. And yeah, Kevin was... Mack getting it done. Yeah, if you don't call that run three, even if you got the right guy on defense, it's going to be tough. There was a little hesitation before that dive. Not sure what that was all about, but uh, yeah, it was a pretty easy touchdown for Viking Mo. 17-14. Viking Mo with the lead. See with Haddix, he's had a couple. He had a really good return in, a, in another decent one. See if he can break one loose here. Already to the 15. That defender was on crack there. Brown's defenders are not too fast. Running away from the pack. Wow, still can't get caught up to him. Here comes Haddix. I was, wow, I was just about to compliment Viking Mo for what he was doing with the kicker, but... Oh, my Lord. House call. Touchdown icon boxing club. Huge. Wow. Huge, 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 huge. This game just got super interesting. Back and forth scores. Haddix is the dominant returner in this one versus Mac. Unbelievable. But yeah, I, I honestly thought Viking Mo was doing an awesome job with the kicker and was going to get him at about the 30 and he just found a way to get past him. And uh yeah, he, he wasn't he wasn't catching him. Fans of the original Tecmo Bowl will appreciate what they just saw there because Tecmo Super Bowl really diminished the ability of the kicking return game. Yeah, and that's one thing I wanted to explain. We just keep saying Stan Brock because he's the blocker on both sides and he has a faster maximum speed of 44, which the kick returners both get. Whatever team you are, they get the maximum speed of the right tackle. That's why he's moving faster than he normally would. I'm going to have to start a new league called the SBCL where all the all the games feature Stan Rock as the right tackle. <laughs> oh, wow. man, that's hilarious. Um, so, yeah, Viking Mo is in a good spot here with the clock and the way he's been managing it throughout this whole game. Icon Boxing Club's been scoring quick. 
And Viking mode's been time of possession, scoring touchdowns, and the field goal. So I like where he's at here. Pass one's the call. Keeping on the ground and getting out of bounds. First down for Viking Mo with 145 remaining here. Tecmo time. I imagine at some point he might take one shot down the field. And out of bounds, past the 45 to the 46, and out of bounds, uh, 127 here, second and one. Mark Murphy being manned. This isn't the right play for him to be manned on. He caught him on the bottom side. Mikey Moe gets about 8 to 10 yards. Pretty patient run three there by Kevin Mack. And again, blocking doesn't hold up as well. Only a six-yard gain. And here, and finally, a pass play coming. Yeah, Bob he's Nelson going on to... coverage. I don't know if that's the guy you want, but he gets Leroy Hort, who is in good condition, to the 26 and taken down first down. Viking ball, 32 seconds. Tech what time you need to take a shot to the end zone pretty soon here. Yeah, we'll probably see a few passes to end this game. You go to the JJ to Metcalf. He's got the dive, and it's out of his reach, second and 10, 21 seconds. I think he got about two plays here. That that play, that shotgun four has that deadly JJ on that receiver that goes in. I've had play. guys kill me with that. Once Crossfield, the slaughter speed his man. He's got the end zone touchdown. <laughs> Viking Mo, huge pass play here wow. late in the game to Webster Slaughter. He just threw it up to his best receiver. The defense was there, but the Packers DBs, as you know, aren't good. But we just saw a kick return to the house. This for just a touchdown. in. Jerry Holmes just got released. <laughs> this game is not over yet. Usually it would be, but he's been doing such a good job on kickoff returns. Let's see if he has one more in him. All right, Haddock's out of the end zone, zigging, zigging. Oh, nope, no go. That was anticlimactic. At least that play was, but not this game. 24-21, Viking Mo over Icon Boxing Club. That was fun to watch. Yeah, and I knew it was going to be a lot of scoring given the Browns versus the Packers. Uh, we saw the kickoff returning come into play. Great job by Icon Boxing Club. But in the end, Viking Mo, his taps and his uh, time of possession was just too much to handle. Great game, guys. Great job, Tom. Everyone stay with us. We'll have more games for you right after this. And we are back. Trojan 1979 here on the Retro Sports Gamer Channel. Do you smell what Stan Brock is cooking? I'm with Angry G93. Potential record breaker. You're going to have to tell us about that a little bit. NHL 94 Sega Genesis record breaking. Pulling the goalie. Six skaters on the ice and slapping that son of a bitch past the net. Past the goalie into the back of the net. What What is up with that? That was just me having a crazy idea, thinking, how am I going to break King Ra King Raph's record of a 69-goal differential in a 10-minute game against the computer? And I thought, why not just pull the goalie and go for go for the gold? And uh, I managed to pull it off, scored uh, 81 goals, and gave up seven on my empty net. So I had the record unofficially for about three hours until someone posted a score without video, which debatable. Screenshot or Raff it didn't happen. Yeah, King Raph later on, though, did beat it yesterday or two days ago, and I think he's up to 83 now. So it's that record is just climbing in a lot, actually, in the last two days. 14 goals overall, so it's pretty impressive to see where it's gone in just less than a week. You thought COVID was nonsense. It creates greatness. Angry J93 with me here, Trojan 1979. Stan Brock is cooking a right tackle substitution for every team. Green Bay Packers and, excuse me, and the Seattle Seahawks are going to be doing battle uh, with Sammy Smith, 33, and Johnny MX in the fold. And this matchup will have playoff implications. So let's go into it. Basically, the return game is going to be lit. What else could players be looking at uh, for this type of matchup? 
I, I think an increased run game presence, um, especially for Green Bay. Um, they, they could really use a boost on offense to kind of keep people off of the Mikowski sharp connection. So I think it just balances their offense up a little bit better. And Seattle, now they actually have a, a running attack that they can use as well. So I'm interested to see how these players can use their kickoff ability now to their advantage. Chris Warren moving pretty well already. Moving good here and gets the popcorn and taken down. So much better return. Typically, if you get to the 15 or past, uh, that's a decent return if you're not the Steelers or the Saints. So pass four is the call. Dave Craig going back and B. Who does he want? Benny Blades. He's got him in stride. 30, 25, 20, 15. Taking down a bounce on the 12-yard line. First down. Johnny MX. Yeah, great pass there by uh, Craig. Getting a, the long bomb to the receiver there. Chris Warren. Tap, 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 tap. Here comes Johnny MX. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown. And Seattle strikes first. Johnny MX using that right tackle, who now has been boosted from um, – uh, Ron Mattis' rating, the 56 hit power to 69. That right tackle just opened up the lane and beautiful touchdown run there. Oh, I got to burst a bubble. Everything is reversed for the player, too. Oh, they left, on, on they the left offensive, tackle? Yeah. So, yeah, the right tackle sits at the bottom no matter what. So they're always at the bottom. That way the plays run the same. But I love I love the enthusiasm. Here comes Haddock's out of the end zone, 5, 10. He learns something every day. I bet there's a bunch of players that don't know that either. That, yeah, that is actually very valuable information. I mean, even if you're a casual person coming in to watch this, I mean, it would be misleading to look at the line and assume it's left to right on both sides of the screen. We set that up in advance. Anchor J. Ray knew, knew that answer early on. Uh, here comes uh, Woodside going up the middle, second down and six. Gain of four. Pro set formation in between the hashes. Stan Brock in position. <laughs> Just destroying Jacob Green. And McCoskey goes out of bounds for a first down. Wow, that was an understatement. Jacob Green just got run over there. And you don't see that very often at all. Stan Brock just popcorn someone. Here comes Woodside again. Nice run taken down to the 38-yard line. First down for Sammy Smith, 33. Brock making his presence felt much like Lorenzo White last week where both teams had the ability to use that player. Wooden tries to go in for the LB4 lurch. No go. Here comes Keith Woodside. Good gain, second down and three. Pretty steady approach here by Sammy Smith, not pulling the Shannon Sharp cat or Sterling Sharp card quite yet. Call play, really nowhere to go there on pass two, third down and three. Off the same little shot, here comes a QB sneak. Mikowski should have it and taken down inbound. Should have gotten out of bounds there. First down and ten. That pass two is a little odd. Normally we see that JJ uh, attempt on pass two for a run and shoot. Tony Woods with a drone sack. Second down and 20. Yeah, big sack there for the Seahawks to put the, the Packers in. A tough second down here. Hunter across the formation, goes for the dive. Woodside bounces to the outside. Here he goes. On second and long, getting it done here. Third down and seven. Really love the patience by Sammy Smith on that run to kind of fake going up the middle, bait the dive, and then take it outside and make it more manageable third down here. Stan Brock with a popcorn. And what other game would you watch the right tackle? Seriously, fourth down and four. I guess having a bottom tier matchup where the right tackle is just lit, this is the time to do it. I'm going to start watching more closely now as well. Fourth down, important down in distance here. And taken down Cortez Kennedy. Rest his soul. Side change. Here comes Johnny MX with a 7 0 lead in 17 seconds of techno time at the 46 yard line. Pass one is the call. Once underneath to Chris Warren. Time expires to the 40. Taken down to the 38. First down. Welcome to the second quarter. 7-0. Johnny MX over Sammy Smith, 33. Yeah, Johnny MX looking very solid in that first quarter. Establishing a lead and now having a chance to, to make it a two-possession game here. Weak side open run. Here comes the popcorn. And Warren reverses field. Tried to get away. Could not lose his three. Second and 13. Not quite the run play you'd like to see there from Johnny MX, but still second 13. Not too bad of a situation here. Stan Brock absolutely knocking over Scott Stevens. Here comes Chris Warren, 30, 25, 20. Excuse me, 21-yard line taken down. First down, Johnny MX, 4.15 tech with time. Moving the ball very well, very patient. Johnny Howland on defense. Craig 
just doing it with his legs. Taken down in the field of play, gets four yards, second and six. Yeah, no receivers open there, just very patient play there by Johnny. Well done. Mark Murphy on defense this time, another pass. Craig's going to have trouble squeezing passes in here because of his slow passing speed at 25. First down and 10 after a QB scramble for first Johnny MX. Could get potentially get a first down here without scoring, but it would be difficult. Looks like he may have had a shot there to deliver it, but as player two, that's always a risk. Second down and eight. And his first down, you have plenty of other chances to, to find a more ideal situation here. He was run one. He had a touchdown before with this play. Gets a good juke and gets near the marker and gets the first down. So first and goal from the one. Scott Stevens on defense, weird choice, but there was a call play. Second down and five after a loss of four. Excuse me, second and goal from the five, and here's pass four. This is difficult to complete this close to the end zone. And just trying to make the end zone. He gets the touchdown. Are you kidding? Johnny MX. Dave Craig. Just yeah. the rare Dave Craig running touchdown. Craig just stretching out, using the – all of his frame to, to get across the goal line there. Really patient run there by Johnny um, to wait for his options to develop and then wheel around that right tackle where uh, Brock is. Uh, makes, oh, we got an onside kick here. And Ox accidental most certainly from online play. Mikowski with the recovery. Can't fumble it first down and 10. This is a big possession here for Sammy Smith. He's got to get some, some points on the board here. Herman Fontenot with the run one pitch. Well defended by Johnny and Max, just kind of coming behind the blockers and allowing his drones to finish him off. Here's another play. Getting past the marker. And I think Johnny and Max is fairly content with this much time on the clock to let him keep calling that play. Here's yeah, pass three. Pretty low risk here for uh, Johnny and Max to let those plays develop. Going over the top to Sterling Sharp, taking a shot. Covered, incomplete. Although he is always open. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a great combination, especially down in this tier. I mean, you got to take a couple shots here if you're Sammy Smith. Sterling Sharp is uh, not targeted. Mikowski taking it down to 42 seconds. Tecmo time, third and five. Pro set formation, top hash mark. Right up the middle. Cavalcade of blockers. Here comes Keith Woodside. Alma mater of Alabama, first down and 10. 19 seconds remaining. Running out of time is Sammy Smith. That was the first big game for Sammy Smith. He's going to need another one here to get in the end zone real quick. Goes right back to it. Here's the pro set dive. The dive is missed by Johnny Mex. We have a touchdown. Keith Woodside, Sammy Smith shortens the lead. Yeah, that's a huge run. I mean, to get this back into one possession game for the end of the half. There's no time for a J.J. shenanigan here, so it's really the perfect timing by Sammy Smith to get this uh, touchdown on the board now. I have to admit I'm a little biased just because, well, two factors. I am a Packers fan, and two, Sammy Smith's a fellow announcer, even if he is. I think he's a Bears fan that lives in Minnesota, if I understand that correctly. But anyway, here comes Chris Warren. 20, 25, 30, and might as well try to take this all the way if you can. Finally taken down. Welcome to halftime, 14-7. What did you see in that first half, Angry Jay? I saw Johnny MX playing a you know, really solid brand of football there, just taking advantage of the run game when he could and using Craig's legs. Um, Craig's legs, that rhymes. Uh, to, to maximum advantage with that second touchdown run. He was a really nice run. And then Sammy Smith, you know, he wasn't really connecting on a lot of his plays in the first quarter, but finally had that drive in the second quarter to bring himself back into this game. And hopefully we should have an exciting sec uh, second half due to that touchdown as now Sammy Smith gets the ball here. Norm Johnson is known as the worst kicker in the original Tech Bowl. Kicks it off to Haddix. 5-10. And taking down to the 15-yard line. No condition check yet for Sammy Smith. Pass four is the call. Mikowski drops back. Going to be a back and be situation. Buying time goes to Wayne Haddix who cuts his route off and is doinked off. Good coverage by Johnny MX. Second and 10. Here's that aforementioned uh, condition check and looks like Dillwig's going to come off the bench here and perhaps throw some long bongs up to Sterling Sharp. Mikowski certainly, uh, you know, in bad. He, he even has a loftier throw now, but 
loses a little bit of his mobility. He's down to 19. Dilweg, uh, they're still they, they are somewhat interchangeable. They are somewhat interchangeable, but normally, normally you want to try to keep Magic in there. I think he still has a little more synergy. But second down and ten, here we go. Fontenot, as we like to call him, in Green Bay with the run one pitch, third and four. Yeah, whole, play, whole playbook is wide open here. I'd expect to see a run play, though, by uh, Sammy Smith. He's just going to go right back to it near the marker. Breaks a tackle, has a taps, and a first down. First down and 10 for Sammy Smith, bottom hash mark. 329 trailing by seven. And back to back to back, and this time he has a broken tackle. Herman Fontenot taken down past the 45 to the 46 and a first down for Sammy Smith, 33. Sammy Smith just barely won that tap battle and was able to get an extra 10, 15 yards because of that. From the bottom, hash marks to go back. Here's run three. He's got a cavalcade of blockers. Here he goes. Keith Woodside, and it closes up in a hurry. Second down and three. Thank you to Ryan, the ultimate weapon. for me borrow the word cavalcade in my broadcast. I don't have to pay him any more royalties. Here comes pass four. Dilweg from the University of Duke. Out of bounds of the 40 inside Seahawks territory. First down. Sammy Smith finally getting some flow to this offense. Takes it out of bounds. Not much there. Second down and eight. What's your favorite NFL team? Uh, my fantasy football team. I like it. They, they usually treat me a lot better than the regular teams, although I'm just as vo volatile as a general manager as anybody else in the NFL. I mean, I'll make 40, 50 moves a season, no problem. Here's the pitch to Woodside. Tap off, and looks like this time Johnny MX with the taps win, fourth and one. Uh, refusing to go for a field goal with Chris Jackie. Chris Jackie will be relegated to shopping at Woodman's in Green Bay. Wants Jilly Sharp, wants it all. Has him in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Packers. Sammy Smith, 33. Anthony Delweg, 2. Sterling Sharp. And that's something you would never see in a real Packer game back in the 90s. On uh, fourth and one, you're definitely not going deep to Sharp like that. But it turned out beautiful here for uh, Sammy Smith. Really going for it all here. I, I would have probably picked a run play thinking he's just trying to get a first down like he had been all, uh, all that drive before. Just a very steady ball movement. But then beautiful pass. I don't know if it was 90 or 91, but there was an absolutely atrocious game between the Packers and the Seahawks. I think it was at Milwaukee County Stadium when they used to play four of their games there. Or rather, two of their games out of the... Uh, the two, they did two preseason and then two regular season games. They're incomplete pass by Johnny MX. Blair Keel came in and almost brought it back from three touchdowns down. The third stringer. And everyone wanted him to be the main QB. It was a terrible year after Mikowski tore his rotator cuff. Brian Noble with the drone sack, third and 13. Yeah, it sounds like a terrible time to be a, a Packers fan, turn on a third string quarterback. But luckily they had Favre and Rodgers not too far after that. Chris Warren, nice juke. And to the fourth tap, 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 taken down 39. Welcome to the fourth quarter. 14-14, all tied up. Johnny MX driving. Driving, but Sammy Smith, he's right back in this game. He's just had a dogged performance these last two quarters. Chuck Cecil grossly underrated in this game. Should have a popcorn capable hitting power, does not. It's a darn shame because that guy always had a bloody nose. Chuck Cecil. Oh, the, he's he's with the Packers. I was thinking with the, he was with the Seahawks there momentarily, but yeah, he did not get any love. Now looking at his stats, it's he's very average. Look up Chuck Cecil, Dave Meggett. Back-to-back -back plays, he makes him... You can see the soul leave Dave make its body. Here comes a weak side open run. Chris Warren. Nowhere to go. Third and six for Johnny MX. Huge down this year. This could be really a... This down right here could determine the fate of the game and how it flows from here. Craig trying to scramble. Avoids a drone underneath the Chris Warren. Has the marker. And more taken down to the 40. Hey, speaking of Dave Miggett, hello, starting line of figure. Hermetically sealed, just like he'd be sealed in prison for his inappropriate <laughs> behavior. Never stop ripping on oh, Dave Miggett. Never stop. David Craig with the scramble. That's quite a few yards rushing in this game to the 32, second and three. 
Yeah, two two nice uh, QB scrambles there. The first one to avoid three different sack opportunities for the Packers to, for a nice dump off in the first down, and now a short second down here for Seattle. Dave Craig just continued to scramble. Johnny MX does not want to give a lot of time to Sammy Smith. I don't know if you can drain 319 from the 30 or inside the 30, but we'll see if you can do it. Well, there's Chadwick. And now taken down to the eight-yard line, first and goal for Johnny MX. Going to your point of limiting time there, Troy, I would think uh, Johnny's trying to limit the time as much as possible to give fewer opportunities on the JJ to start. If you can get, make a limit to one or two, I think that'd be a win. You're now in that very difficult area to try to score um, without calling your running play. Again, that slow passing speed is a liability for Craig in this spot of the field. From the five, run three. Murphy unable to get there, and we have a running touchdown from Johnny MX. Chris Warren with the honors, and he takes the lead 20 to 14. Yeah, Stan Brock just paving the way there. Johnny's hopping on his back and uh, using that outside edge to gain the end zone and the lead in this game. We got some Brock on Brock crime. Yeah, Brock is giving the smack, smack down to Brock. It's really a Interesting situation they have going on down there with the with the name game. Let's see what Michael Haddix and his hitting power can do with the Brock factor. Here he goes. 40. He is flying. 50. He should be able to take this if he can avoid the drones to the 20. 15. 5. End zone. Touchdown. Sammy Smith. And this is huge. He's going to have a high risk of sending this to overtime although Johnny MX does have the lofty delivery if he can get his receivers down the field which is always half the battle 21 21 your score Johnny could return his own field goal uh, uh excuse me kickoff here yeah, I've seen if he, I mean, let's, see, let's see if he has Derek Fenner in there the thing is no he doesn't have Chris Warren you want to put Derek Fenner in and hope for conditions you might get a popcorn or two uh but Chris Warren's not going to do anything because he gets the stats from the other guy but at least not from the popcorn standpoint, but here he goes running away. That's a really good return. Gosh, I don't think you have enough time to get into field goal range here. It's going to be tough with the, with the lack of speed in Seattle. You're going to have to do a real quick pass, get out of bounds, or an outside run. He's going to take a shot to Chadwick or maybe John L. Williams. Going to Chadwick. Wow, slow delivery, 30, 20, dropping in. Has the JJ, and it's taken down short of the goal line. Welcome to overtime, 21-21. Let's see who gets the ball first. Looks like Sammy Smith has the honors. First points win. If the overtime concludes, a new game will start, and then Johnny MX would receive that kickoff, and the game would continue. Oh, no, onside kick. This is this can't be possibly intentional because the risk of Rich Moran. Oh, my goodness. Not sure why he ran out of bounds. You can't fumble the ball. Yeah, that's. I don't know what the thought behind that was either. That. But it also did have to be a mistake there on Johnny's part. I mean, even though he just gave up a kick or kickoff return, I don't think he's going to do an onside kick. There's no benefit to it, especially with the player, too. You're just not going to recover it. Not sure so, if they're it, talking, talking trash here behind the scenes. A bit of an unfortunate situation there for Seattle. It's Sometimes that happens in online play where you mistime something, and I know I've had it happen in, in NHL hockey where something gets mistimed and it turns into a goal against you, and it could be a really big goal in overtime, much like you know we're right now in overtime here, and that kickoff could potentially be a huge deciding factor in this game. Oh, you mean like when I skate my goalie out near the blue line? <laughs> I try to pass to someone. <laughs> I don't know go if that's... Go full Patrick Waugh on someone? I don't know if that's the net play failing us or, or your brain just going a little haywire it's like why isn't the whistle blown yet <laughs> God, we love nhl 94 guys you got to get nhl 94 online.com check out king of 94 check out edge of 94 midwest check out long island gaming expo new york tournament whenever that rehappens some really awesome people running tournaments up in up in north america so here we go back to this game shotgun formation pass three delwig Keep it. Ooh, just gets taken down. He hesitates, and he, you know, taking that shot may not have been a bad idea up top. Now here yeah, comes I agree. pass one. 
storm, I'm sorry, run one, rather. And now he's got fourth and one in the field goal opportunity. He's not even going to go. Does he go deep again to sharpen? But we, what's, what's the gain in that? I mean, you don't need a touchdown. You just need a field goal here. I don't need the whole playbook. Who knows? If this is real life, Delwick has never completed two passes in a row in his life. I don't know. It just feels that way. Delwick with the scramble. That, that defender was awfully close. He was buzzing around Delwick, but Delwick tippy-toed around him and, and got that yard. All right, so resetting on first down here, Keith Woodside. You know, it looks like he beats Johnny MX's defender, and the drones are really stepping up. Rufus Porter also moonlights as a security guard to a 22-yard line first down. Got to supplement that 1991 NFL salary. Not much to it unless you're Neon Dion. I tell you, that 90s is really when the league started to blow up. Just short there on the marker. I think the main thing here is you just want to get conservative. Like making contact there, I even think, is a mistake, but he gets the first down, first and goal from the six. Yeah, you don't want to be in the middle of the field here. No way. Outside runs, quarterback scrambles. That's probably going to be the, the recipe here. And he's just short of the goal line. I think he just double tap this, take your field goal and win, but. Going for it from second and goal. Bottom hash mark. Here's run three. Nothing can be done in the end zone. Touchdown ball game. Sammy Smith over Johnny MX. Yeah, just using the back, you know, using Stan Brock's blocking power there to, to overrun that right side. I mean, just how many runs to that right side? Three, four in a row there at the end by Sammy Smith. So Stan Brock put his stamp of approval on this game for the Packers. First, the kickoff return to get us to overtime and then the game-winning touchdown. Impressive, impressive uh, sequence of plays there by Sammy Smith. Fairly even game here between the two. Obviously went to overtime. Uh, Sammy Smith coming out with a victory and earns himself a playoff spot. Uh, I believe he has the bottom seed moving in to all the action. You'll see the scores at the end of this. So thanks, Angry Jay. We'll have another game for you. Stay tuned. Hey, we suck and we're back. Angry Jay 93 is joining me again. This is Trojan. Do you smell what Stamp Rock is cooking? I think I do. It smells good. It's going to be exciting. So we've got a couple players here. We've got Joey Gatz, which you know we know he's the all you know the three time defending you know world champion. And then we've got do. How do you think you pronounce that name? Deuce Loose. It doesn't matter how you pronounce that name. <laughs> Deuce Loose and Joey Gatz, week five. Stan Brock is cooking. That means every team gets Stan Brock. And what does that mean in real-world terms if you're just joining us? Angry Jay wants you to tell the fans what they're going to expect here in a matchup like this with having Stan Brock at the helm on the right tackle on both teams. You can expect a lot of smackdowns being laid out, whether it be via the kicking game uh, on the return side or on the offensive line. I expect both of these teams to to heavily benefit from Stan Brock's presence. And it's going to be an interesting matchup of just – Old school, hard nosed gameplay here. Gerald Riggs might light some fools up. Of course, both teams have a, a decent rushing attack. Washington has a little bit better. Uh, you've got the better passing attack uh, in, as far as the QB to Anthony Carter, but you've got a, a trio of receivers with Washington. Um, the, this is probably one of the most common, you know, if you will, even matchups. Uh, in Tecmo Super Bowl, we see it co- uh, called very common. It's usually a player two takes Minnesota unless they have a heavy propensity to the running attack. You see a tapper that wants that, that Ernest Biner factor. Um, but uh, this, this these games are methodical. You've got decent secondaries and average quarterback play and, and good running back. So let's see what this will do with the Stan Brock factor and who's going to return some kicks. Uh, we've seen some pretty amazing returns already. In the prior games, Washington Redskins manned by Deuce Loose and jo- that's a Johnny Gatz. What in the world is happening? <laughs> this is what happens when you're on six white claws. This is unbelievable. We're combining players now. One guy has the directional pad. The other guy has the uh, A, B buttons. <laughs> and they have to fight over the start button for condition checks. It's it's really an intriguing situation. We should actually have uh, webcams on these situations to see how these people bicker with each other and try and create plays. Uh, 
Punky, QB, Punky QB does 2v2 Tecmo. A uh, little, little teaser when we get together next time uh, for Full Nelson, whenever we can make that happen. The plan is to bring uh, Punky QB's 2v2 on board along with uh, Brad Bell's RBI and Tecmo Bowl brand. Uh, so we're really looking forward to bringing uh, these guys on. So um, I don't know why I'm talking like that other than the fact that I've had five white claws. Let's get in some techno. <laughs> Squirrel! You need to take over, just Squirrel. let me know. <laughs> close that close that drink. We're on accelerated timeline here, folks. I actually went to work today. I didn't work from home. This is my working from home. Here comes Herschel Walker, the worst trade in NFL history to the twenty. It's like the, the Vikings got all of their value out of Herschel Walker the very next game when he played the Packers after they played him in, in Dallas the week prior. We call it one hit wonder. Here comes Rick Fenny. That looked cooler than it resulted in second down and 10. That was definitely not the design of that play. The pick play uh, forced uh, Joey Gatt's hand there, almost hit Johnny Gatt's. Whiskey Wood Wilson rest his soul. Buying time using his legs. You can see a lot of this because you're afraid to throw against either one of these secondaries with these quarterbacks. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of deep throws, runs, and QB scrambles. Nothing in between. And here comes Wilson. He's got the marker and gets the first down. Joey Gatz is being patient. Yeah, if, if he's being patient, but if anything opens up, just watch him strike. It's going to be very, It's going to be gorgeous. Joey Gatz wants a son. Jones goes out of bounds. He was hungry. Hot dog vendor and popcorn. Second down and 10. Son just trying to conserve his energy. It's a long game. We're early in the first quarter here. Running right at Daryl Green. The dive is missed by Deuce Lewis. Here comes Walker. He has an opportunity zigging and zagging past the 50. And taken down to the 46. First down, Joey Gatz. First run play of the game. Very strong play. Almost 20 yards there. I'm reminded suddenly, I don't know if you caught this on the past streams from Edge of 94. Pass underneath the Fenny. Fumble! And recovered by the Redskins, Andre Collins gets out of bounds, so Deuce Loose takes over. Someone was it, – it was Josh Leif Erickson's uh, really awesome guy, tech guy, called King Raff, King Wrath, and it was on stream for, like, most of the day. J.J. touchdown, Deuce Loose going deep uncovered is Ricky Sanders, and Deuce Loose takes the lead after the turnover quickly. Immediate dividends being paid there for Deuce Loose, just finding the open receiver down the field. And, you know, simple pitch and catch. Beautiful touchdown there. I liked it a lot. Um, Joey Gatt's probably a little frustrated with that previous fumble in the middle of the field, and then we got a mistake here already on the online. He's got the recovery. Deuce loose with the onside. I don't know if it was intentional. Hey, you... why is he punting? Probably because it was unintentional. He doesn't want Ill, ill-advised Ill gains or ill-brought gains. There's nothing uh, outlawed about that, so he should take every advantage. This is given to Leo Lewis. That's very, very interesting that Deuce decides to do that. That's honorable, but... Indeed. And looks like Joey Getz declines that honor and just gives the ball right back. Honorable in his own right. Well, this looks more like a re reasonable kick. Interesting. He didn't... I don't know what the... you know. If you don't want to kick off to your stud back there, I totally get it. Well... Uh, we should do a post-game interview, but we won't because we're not that sophisticated. Second down and 13. Either that or a lazy. By we, yeah, I mean me. <laughs> That's what ESPN does. They don't do any real work. Okay, here comes Biner. Don't worry. They're not going to cover us anyway. 7 nothing. Deuce loose over Joey Gatz after the weird punting formation. And Darth Rockman would say, why don't they change your lineups first? You have to look to last week to understand that joke. Third down and 12. Looks like... Washington, was Whippin in average or good? I couldn't, I didn't quite catch that one. I don't care if he's an excellent, they're all shit. <laughs> it's hot garbage at the QB position. No, uh, I, I didn't see there. Um, we don't use, Monk is in bad. Uh, you know, I would like to, Biner's in good, so he's going to be at uh, 56 maximum speed. That'll help the cause of the running attack reduce. Yeah, using that stand, stand Brock right tackle is going to be, so going with Millard, people. he's got that popcorn immediately. Uh, I would recommend putting Monk at the bottom position because even in his bad condition, he's going to have 25 hitting power at that wide receiver spot, which is still 
higher than just about everyone else. 31. Excuse me, we're at 31 he'll be at in bad condition. And he's got Gerald Riggs. Are you shitting me? Who makes that throw? Unbelievable. Deuce loose with a Gerald Riggs strike. And Gerald Riggs looks tanner than he does in real life. And Mark Griffin looks like a real quarterback as opposed to the usual crap he usually brings to this game. And Deuce Lose just playing loose, throwing a couple bombs up, having them come to fruition. And here we go again with the interesting situation of the missed time to kick. Online does that. I understand you want to get as deep as possible because, you know, this is just as dangerous, though. I mean, let it go a little early and, and make the most out of it. Anyway, offset eye formation, run four is the call. Rick Fenny bosses to the outside. Cannot get away from the drone. Nothing there. Second and eight. Yeah, Stan Brock couldn't quite open up that hole, and the run play was contained nicely there by Stan Brock is a human being. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> no, he's Rick a Superman. Fenny redirected and a first down. The redirect actually got him the extra yards he needed. Yeah, it looked like an identical play to the one that uh, Joey gets fumbled on earlier, but this one turned out oh, better. Oh, he's open. Cross field wants Steve Jordan, and he's got him in the end zone. Touchdown, Joey Gatz. Whiskey away to Steve Jordan. For two teams that love to run the ball and just grind it out, they are just chucking it up for deep throws. That's three deep touchdowns now, one for Minnesota here to get themselves back into the game. Speaking of Steve Damn. Jordan, he could have thrown it to himself, just like in that Mr. Perfect bit. Yeah, it was. he was so open. He had all the time in the world. He could have done whatever he wanted. He could have danced to the ball he threw to himself. 14-7, to seven, Deuce. Still in the driver's seat. Nowhere to go. 11 yards only with this return tack. You'd like to think you get a little bit more. This team, we got a called run three. Biner, nowhere to go. He wants to leverage Biner's, Biner's maximum speed. Don't like that QB sneak uh, call. I don't think that's appropriate in this particular thing, but here we go. Biner, zigging, zagging, has the marker. Taken down in the field of play. Of course, good condition. That ball control is getting pumped up too. First down and 10. Another run three. Browner dancing around the drones. Finally, the purple gobbles him up. First down, deuce loose, 121 Tecmo time. Biner looks like he's on loose. He's just flying up and down the field right now. Pass four. Tries to force that one in there. I, I think uh, you got to let that play develop and find your open receiver. So bottom hash mark, single back formation. Deuce with another run three pitch. Five yards, third and five. Whole playbook's open here. I expect another run play down the yep, bottom of the screen. I, I think he's probably playing for a Chip Low Miller field goal here. Oh, gets the bump. That's kind of what he wanted. If he could have broken loose, that could have been six thirty-five seconds here. You're in Chip Low Miller field goal range, although you do have Merriweather to contend with. And where's the bump? Throws it up to Sanders near the end zone, just out of the back of the end zone. I think you got to take your shot here. Um, I think. Oh boy, you got to go with your field yeah. goal. If you pick, if you pick a run three here to get outside quick, I think it'll get it'll be a picked play. You'll probably won't have enough time, or you won't even be a field goal range at that point. So you just got to take it here. So it's like it, open to he's JJ. Worried, worried about Merriweather crashing in on this. So he's going to Clark Crossfield that breaks his route off. Zigging, zagging, tap, 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 and the drones are going to finish him off. Uh, well defended by Joey Gatz, keeping him in front of the goal line, and it's fourteen seven into the half. Joey Gatz trailing in, considering all the bad that's happened, he's only done a touchdown. Yeah, he really uh, minimized the, the negative in, the, in that half where it looked like he could have just been down by three possessions, possibly completely out of the game, but here we are. He's right in it. Just got to make another defensive stand, and he can try and tie this game up after that. And he had to kick it away. Gatz to Deuce. Deuce is running around 15, 20. Man, the purple. People leaders doing work first down and 10. Ooh, Sue, someone's an excellent. Looks like Biner, maybe. Did he upgrade? Kelvin Bryant isn't good. Uh, uh, I didn't quite see exactly who was an excellent, but it looks like there was numerous people in good. I think this is the perfect opportunity for Washington to try and take advantage of something here. Underneath the Biner. Biner's looking good. Yeah, he's, oh, yeah. he's an excellent. First down and 10. He's up to 63 max speed. Excuse me, 69 rather. I got to do the math on that. Oh, it is, it is 63. What's wrong with me? Oh, yeah. Five, five, yep, yep. <laughs> I just had five or 12 of these. 
Second and 27. Derp and derp. All right, here comes the weak side open run. Call play. That does not help Ernest Biner's rushing attack. Third down and 29. And that was the first time that uh, Deuce Luce picked that play. And Joe Yes all over it. Well, here comes pass two. Once the JJ doesn't help overthrown to Clark, he would have been tackled him uh, well short anyway. Fourth down and 29 punting time. I think that was a little bit of a panic. I, I think in that situation, you just got to drop back and let it go. And if it gets picked on the other end of the field, that's your punt. Yeah, it's a punt with a percentage of this could, this could actually work and turn into points. So Leo Lewis maneuvering around. Nice return. Taking advantage of Browner's return speed. Whiskey weight and bad. Rich Gannon and bad. Joey Gatt's really being dealt a poor hand here. Yeah, and unlike Washington, who has several players in good, both quarterbacks in Minnesota have been, are bad. I haven't seen that in a while. So Rick Fenney is going to do the work here. Not sure why he dove. I know Joey Gatt's can tap. Uh, don't know what Deuce's tap number is, but just want to engage and let those drones finish him off. First down and 10. Not taking anything away from Joey Gatt's, but that was a mistake. He feeds on those mistakes, that type of player that he is. Wants Carter. He's got him. Gets the dive, and good dive tackle by Deuce Luce, not grappling there. First and goal from the six. Now the scrambling of Wilson is going to be a problem here. He's only at six maximum speed. The rushing power is reduced. He's just going to get close as he can. He's also down to 38 ball control. Yeah, you got to get towards the sideline first and foremost, I would think. Crossfield Walker in the end zone touchdown. Joey Gatz beats the defender with Herschel Walker, and we're about to have a tie ball game. Yeah, huge defensive stand there by Joey. Just comes down the field, big pass to, to Carter, and then he just grinds the ball into the end zone behind the offensive line, ties it back up. We got ourselves a new game here. 14 14. All tied up. Here comes Gerald Riggs. Let's see if we get a better return. They just have not been holding up against. The defense of Minnesota. And there the Hogs doing a little bit of work. More room this time. Good juking. Finally, Joey Gatz gets it, the tackle. 17 seconds here remaining. Tecmo time in the third top hash mark. Rippin moving slow. And he gets taken down. That, that just hurts so much. Scott Studwell, the second worst linebacker in Tecmo Super Bowl with the drone sack. Here comes Rippin, dropping back. Wants Ricky Sanders, wants it all, but the route is cut off. And it's not interception, intercepted, excuse me, in a three-way. Was that a Ronick challenge? Three-way Ronick challenge? <laughs> yeah, the it's coverage a, was definitely there. It was a challenge to get that ball in there. It was. It was. Uh, back in, I don't know what condition Rippin is in, but. It was it, bad, I think. Crossfield to Clark has the diving grab. Well played by Deuce Lewis. I have a sideline reporter coming down. Come on in. This is this is number two. Let me know about something. Second down and 10 for Deuce Loose top hash marks and go back formation. This is not third BB. This is second BB. All right. Rippin drops back. Let's go to Sanders. This time the route is not broken off. And double covered in complete third and 10. And good defense there by... Joey Gatz needs one more stop here to, to possibly get the ball back. Open receivers has Monk underneath and a first down of more 40. 35 out of bounds. First down for Deuce Lewis. Really well timed. Yeah, he stepped up into the pocket, got that angle, timed it well. Big first down. He's got Clark. He hesitated for a second and that led to an incompletion. Second and 10. This time the weak side open run. He's got an alley. Here comes Biner. Oh, my goodness, I thought he, he was going to take it to the house, but he gets taken down by the drone, but he gets a first down for his effort. First and 10 for Deuce Loose. Miner still looking good here, getting that edge. Rippin has any option he wants, goes cross field, and well covered by Joey Gatz. Couldn't quite squeeze that in there. Luckily, it wasn't intercepted. Deuce buying time, going cross field. And the jump pick is there, but it's f – oh, my goodness. The fumble doesn't matter because the touchback is automatically initiated. Joey Gatz standing tall there in the end zone. That's the Deuce equivalent of doing a manual goal. That's a manual goalie save right there if I ever saw one. Yeah, beautiful interception. 
Here comes Walker. Huge run, 40. 45 50. Excuse me, just short of the 50 to the 49. First down for Joey Gatz now with 156 Tecmo time. Wants to take away as much time as possible and get points on the board. Engages with a. Oh my God. Wants Steve Jordan. Wants it all. Back in the end zone. Got him. Touchdown. Joey Gatz and the Vikings. And he takes the lead. That's 21 was, or 20 unanswered so far. I was expecting a more methodical. Um more methodical process there by Joey Getz, but Steve Jordan was just so wide open. How could you not take the points? Great uh, throw. That's his second deep touchdown to Steve Jordan today. Third BB doing a little victory dance on there. Hey, we're Packers fans. Stop that. <laughs> well, Deuce Loose not out of it. Riggs out of his end zone. But uh, not, not going to get any help in the returning game there. First down and 10. Needs to get another 10 yards or so and then start going for chuck it's he could try to go for it all here he does have some speed in the field Gary Clark and there's just so much coverage down the field you must need the full field effect to get that JJ yeah maybe a short pass or a quick run he's been using run two run three a lot as deuce loose so maybe we see that that gets selected here with Bynum with a uh, Briner actually Biner's going into the receiver slot so I would not expect the run play uh, here's pass three. Biner's just going to sit underneath in that wide receiver two spot. Go to Calvin Bryant, and it's deflected. It, you know, it looked like it had a chance here just to make a little room, but this might be the last play of the game here. And nine seconds left. He needs to score a touchdown. Call play, take a sack, or get it. Okay, he got rid of the ball. This will be the last play of regulation. Fourth down and ten, three seconds. Technical time, and it's called. This is not good. And the dive is missed. Doesn't matter. He would have been tackled immediately anyway. Joey Gads, 21 unanswered to take this one away from Deuce Loose. And if you're Deuce, you got to be kicking yourself here. Yeah, Deuce played an incredible first quarter and, and even part of the second quarter, establishing a 14-0 lead. And it looked like he was poised to even go up by more for a moment there. But Joey Gads adjusted and just methodically took over this game with two long bombs to Steve Jordan to help him get the victory here. A game that looked like it could have gone all wrong. Well, don't feel too bad, Deuce. You're not the first person to suffer this kind of loss from Joey Gads. Joey Gads doing what he does um, in, in his championship level type of play finds a way to win tough Tecmo games. So, uh, surprise, my sideline reporter had literally nothing to say, but he's he's there for moral support. Thanks for uh, letting us be family men and, and calling uh, these games. So, thanks, Angry Jay, for your call. Thanks, everyone, for watching. we got another game coming for you soon. Hold tight. And we're back. Trojan 1979 here on the Retro Sports Gamer channel. Got a game between A.C. Slater and Alpha TD. You smell what Stan Brock is cooking. Week 5, final week of the regular season. Every team has the right tackle replaced with Stan Brock, which, of course, return game is affected by the maximum speed of the right tackle, and he is an elite blocker. So, twofold good blocking on the bottom side of the screen for the running attack. And, of course, we have the fast return game. And I have a very special color commentator, the brother of A.C. Slater, Da Riddler. How you What's doing? going on, guys? You like my mustache right here? Sexy, huh? Well, they can't see it yet. Just wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh there it is! Oh! oh, it's rough. Oh, ladies. Oh my goodness, my gosh. They have to look at that the entire game, and there's nothing <laughs> they can do. Do you smell what your stash is cooking or been eating? What Anything getting stuck in there? No, no. Just uh, luscious lips, that's all. <laughs> my lord. Might have a double meeting. All right, back to the game. Uh, AC Slater, Alpha TD, uh, what do you know about these players, and what can we expect as we get into this matchup? I actually know both these guys pretty well. Uh, Alpha TD, a.k.a. Voss, uh, he is a super tapper, likes to run the ball. On the other hand, A.C. Slater it might as well not even tap at all. It's it's that bad. Um, so uh, we'll see how A.C. Slater does running with his quarterback versus Voss running consistently. First down and 10 for Alpha TD. Uh, the running attack, not excuse me, the return game wasn't too much of a factor there out near the 15 at the 14. Pass two is the call. Going with Stan Humphrey is going cross field once Gary Clark has him. Stationary completion past the marker. 
Gets a juke, gets a tap, puts a ball on the ground, and here comes the Vikings. Oh, no, the ball on the ground. Chris Dolman rests his solo to the 22 for a first down for A.C. Slater. Good start for him. Yeah, that's a nice luck thing for him there. I mean, this typically is a pretty even matchup, um, depending on which style of team you like to play with. They have a lot of similarities. It's just where the defenders are, are lined up. So across the formation, Green covering pass four. He's got a lot of territory to cover. Here comes Wilson, Whiskey Wade. He's dead, too. My Lord, they're dropping off like flies, second down and five. Yeah, just as I talked about at the opener, I knew AC Slayer was going to run with his quarterback a lot. He likes to try to force you to come up. Weak side open run bounces it back to the inside. And you can call that because the linebackers on Washington are not very good, so you don't have to worry about that engagement before the ball is handed off so right up the middle and there's a nice dive by alpha td decision time for ac slater i think you got to go for it here one yard unless they call your play you you should pick it up all right so here's pass two qb run he's not throwing it and he's got yep. the marker and he goes out of bounds in alpha td getting really aggressive there might have been able to actually run it out the house if he kept it in bounds with first down and 10 here for ac slater excuse me first and goal rather inside the 10. Here's pass three. He's got there the he high low again. game. Yep. Back at the end oh, zone nice. uncovered. Uh, let's see if that is Anthony Card. He did turn the AC up there. Didn't see the alignment at the start of the game. 6 nothing. AC Slater takes the lead. That was a nice uh, quick rotation through cycling through his receivers to get to the top. Sometimes you're worried about throwing it through the back of the end zone there. Uh, but with uh, AC turning it on, he pulled it in. If he kept his feet in bounds. Well, at least Alpha TD has Gerald Riggs back there. If he gets any popcorns on the way out, we'll see what conditions and everything. But he's got that hitting power and the return speed of Stan Brock. But even worse this time, only to the 12, first down in 10. Get north and south. As yeah, they I didn't say. think it was. I didn't think it was really that big of a difference. Uh, if it would have been a 50 ms guy, I think we might have saw some more impact on the game instead of Brock, which is just a 44. The prior games before this broadcast would disagree with you. 44 is the, mat, the fastest in the game as far as um, return guys are. Uh, Stan Brock and Tunch Ilkin are the are 44 MS. You know, if the conditions change and they go to you know 50 or 56, it gets even worse. Comes Gary Clark, gets the JJ in between two oh. defenders. And the drones take him down at the 12, first and 10 for Alpha TD. Yeah, that was a nice little play there. I do play in a league where you can move the linemen around, and I have a 50 MS kick returner, and I've housed a few. It just I feel like I'm flying when I have that guy. Well, the, if the man-controlled kicker loses his speed, it can be game over in a hurry when those blockers get a hold of you. Binder to the top, third down and three. Nice little cutback. Big down here. Let's see what he does. This is run two. And he's going to have a dive opportunity. Nope, in the end yep. zone. Didn't even make the attempt. And we're going to have a tie game shortly. I mean, so far, my pregame predictions is exactly what's happened. AC Slayer running with the quarterback, trying to play two-man games. Alpha TD running the ball, trying to use his taps. And the fact that uh, AC Slayer there was even scared to engage shows you the difference in their tap speed. Um, he probably should have tried to at least make it an attempt at a dive. Rick Finney. On the return here. Interesting, he doesn't have Herschel Walker back there. He has a little bit of hitting power, and if he gets into conditions here, we'll see what happens. Uh, looks like, was it Gannon or Wade Wilson's in good? That'll help a little bit, especially with, you just mentioned his play style, the QB scramble. Yeah, and I mean, even uh, AC Carter has the faster startup speed there, so Fenny's like a pointless kick returner there. Uh, kind of surprises me, and my brother usually knows the numbers pretty well. First down in 10, and just to clarify, uh, dispel the myth, your players do not get injured or change condition based on how you use them. It is entirely ran. 25% chance to change either direction per quarter. First down in 10. You know, uh, AC Slayer's actually got quite a uh, good juke moves with his running back. I wish he could tap a little bit because then he'd be really dangerous uh, because you'll watch some of his juke moves that he makes. So they're pretty good. A nice run, uh, cutting against the grain there after getting past the blockers. It did AC Slater picks up the first down, and now they single back formation pass to Forced, and that is oh, picked off. Is that yep. Walton? 
I couldn't see who that was, but I, it, it would be it'd be Walden or Green. He did get down there with Green. I don't know which one got the interception. It's just not it's something you want to do with Wade Wilson. It's just I think the way he was moving the ball, I thought that was a force. Yeah, he's he's more of a back and B guy, um, or that JJ type QB. Uh, obviously, a little bit faster with the the conditions there, but. This is a, a problem here. Now he's going to tap and get free on this oh. back. Unless he gets caught, he is in for the house, and that's what we see. Alpha, uh, Alpha TD with a TD of his own, and he takes the lead. Yep, nice big run again leading to the touchdown. And I'm just saying, even saying just for AC Slater's style himself, uh, I, I don't think that was a, a great move for him. Uh, personally, uh, burn routes, I kind of like to throw with quarterbacks with at least 50 PC, or PS, I'm sorry, um, to get it in there a little quicker. Chip Lore kicks off back to Fenny. Moving around to see if Red there gets out of bounds wisely out to the, about the 11 or 12 yard line. 302 techno time here for AC Slater to do some work. It's a big drive. Needs to get some points to the board. Shotgun formation, pass three is the There we ball. go. This is AC. He's throwing it up. Why not? Yeah. Nobody's covering one on one with Green. You got to time it right. And way over their heads, but it's one on one, and and a lot of times you can be out yeah, of position. And no, yeah, and no fear of a JJ INT. So all kinds. You got there. Take a, take another shot, unless he's worried about being behind the marker on downs. Yeah, well, that's what he was afraid of. The one thing I was worried about was maybe the block uh, from the lineman there. You see that all the time. First down and ten. He gets yeah. the completion and first down with Rick Finney. Here's pass four. Drops back. Wants it all up top to AC. Well, once they make that cut, the likelihood of a catch is really bad. You got to throw it before he starts slanting. Agreed. Great play in the back of the end zone, but once once they hit that spot, it's sort of useless. Goes across. Oh, there field. you go. Oh, and it's deflected. Oh. And third down and ten, and now you know I would expect either a run three or pass two. I'm wrong on either side. <laughs> And we're going to call play. Wants him up top and does not yeah. get the covered catch. So I, mean, I think you got a punt here. Yeah, you got to. Plenty With of a minute left. There, there's just, there's really not a lot of advantage to, to going for it either. Because with a minute left, you're still probably looking at back and B type situations. All right, here's the punt. Gerald Riggs from about the 17. He's got some wheels right now. Should have ran to the sideline. Very dangerous considering his position of the game. You want now, if, I'm AC, if I'm AC here, I, w I know he's probably still going to run it. I'd call pass plays just in case. Um, but if he does run it, give him 10 yards. You know, he's only got 40 seconds left. Each run's going to take it down. He's probably not going to get into field goal range at that point. Uh, that's the way I would personally play it. I don't know about you. What would you do here, Trojan? Uh, I would definitely call a uh, pass play and uh, try to man uh, Browner. Well, the problem with man Browner, you could get a big, give up a big run. That's that's what I'm scared uh, of. Well, there's only 17 seconds, and now this is the last play of the half. So, oh, I thought yeah. there was 40. Okay, oh, uh, the long punt return. That's right. Well, he throws it out of the bounds. Uh, welcome to halftime, 14-7. We're a little rusty since we don't look at the clock. It happens. Yeah. So, <laughs> we'll be having fun here at GB Land, Retro Sports Gamer Channel uh, Tournament, man. We're about to hit the playoffs. Playoffs? It's happening soon. These games have implications on what's going to happen, who makes it, who does it. So, um, for those of you that have been paying attention, uh, a lot of good action. Try to call the best games uh, from week to week. And uh, this broadcast, uh, as you're watching it, playoffs, playoff games are happening as we speak. So, Whiskey Wade Wilson still in good condition. What did you see in that first half? Looks like Carter's in good as well. Um, I, I felt like uh, AC put himself in some bad positions against the running game, and uh, that led to Alpha TD getting some scores. I thought AC was doing well when he stuck to what he normally does. Uh, when he forced it, that's when he got himself into trouble. So let's see if he gets back to the well here. If he scores, it becomes a possessions game again. And I did this last time. Um, I kept forgetting to change the color commentary name. I need to give people credit for what they're doing. 
I don't know what is wrong with me. <laughs> a lot of things. I don't know. We got, the... we got a bubble bobble back here representing. I think all, all of the guys in the tournament know who you are, so my bad on that. Apparently, I've got some celebrity stats. I had a guy that I played that uh, said I was a celebrity. I don't know about all that, but I thought it was pretty funny. I do like commentating games, though. It's kind of a big deal, people. People know him. He has many <laughs> leather-bound books. <laughs> and his chair smells of rich mahogany. I do have a, the, the book, though. I do have a book, remember? The Tecmo book. Oh, my. All my stats. Pen, pen and paper, I, I rarely use that these days. First down and 10, nice run by E.C. Slater. I'm old school. Here's pass four. Let that ball go early. Gets no, Walker on the wrong. redirect yep. towards the sideline yep. wisely. Yeah, he's not going to take a shot unless he, unless the defender cheats up, if I know AC pretty well. Here's run two. Last time this was dove on, and nice job redirecting by Fenny. And you can get fairly aggressive as off a TV and not give up a big play if you miss that. So uh, don't blame him for doing that. I did think AC got the most he could out of it. He cut it really sharp. Like I said, he's got some running skills. He wants it all to Carter. 30, 20, 10. Cover catch in stride. Oh, and, and he walks touchdown. it off and hands the ball to the cute lady in the first row. Did he start doing the pom-poms like Terrell Owens? Oh, man. I, I don't know. He might have gave her a kiss on the cheek. I don't know. That's, that's a Michigan guy there. You don't know what those guys are going to do. He actually went there to repair the AC unit. <laughs> Hitting the HVAC system. All right, kicking it off here is AC Slater. And we got ourselves a tight ball game. This has been fun back and forth. Sometimes sometimes this game can be clunky with these two teams and the quarterbacks that are controlling them, but both these players are doing well with them. So first and ten for Alpha TD. What does he need to do on this possession? I mean, keep forcing AC to stop his run. Um, I wouldn't risk anything that, that you don't need to. I mean, when you're picking up double digits on the running game, just keep forcing it down his throat. You do have and the ball listened. control factor. It looks, oh, he's going with that pass three for the first time. Didn't have the separation Play that he wanted. Oh, Biner. no, Biner. He's got him in stride and finally caught up with and taken down past the 51st down alpha TD. Wasn't probably the receiver he wanted, but it still worked out very well. AC got lucky that that drone actually came down, or he might have been a house call. Biner for eight, second down and two. Again, there's the difference, the tapping difference. Picked up four additional yards because he couldn't engage. He's in that same situation again. And Biner just looks fast right now, and AC Slater kind of getting caught flat-footed. I don't know if he has his dead zone tweaked properly on his controller, but he's, look, he's losing speed. Keith Millard on defense this time. He just really good blocking. And now, oh my goodness. Uh, oh, that was almost a touchdown. One more tap to win, and that would have been a house call. First down and 10 for Alpha TD. Has the stationary, yep. and he's got the auto dive and a touchdown. Alpha TD takes the lead. I was about to say, I guarantee AC is going to start picking runs out of frustration, and it's going to be up to Alpha TD to make the passes, and there he did so. Always a little nervous with the redirect with those QBs on a, on a quick throw. They always seem to miss. And sometimes to your detriment, you take points off the board, but it works out for him. So yeah, I really 14. think feel like AC is going to have to call his play right now to stop him. He's just uh, he's just giving up too much yards in the running game. So Fenny looking a little bit faster on that return, although he ran out of room. Uh, I don't know if, you know, of course, we don't have condition checker in this tournament. I don't know if Stan Brock is, is, is in maybe a good condition or not. Um, well, Fenny is hyped after his last drive. I mean, he's so hyped he drops the C out of his name in Rick. Once Walker has the auto dive on the drone to the sideline and out of bounds. And 21 14 as we enter the fourth quarter. AC Slater trailing by seven. Rick Fenny's in good. Anthony Carter's in good. The clock will be interesting here. A quick score, I think, it would be detrimental to AC. Obviously, you got to score when you can. Uh, but I, I personally, I bet he's thinking about: uh, Can I get this to overtime and win the coin toss? One request: Move over. Just get this right there. Yep, you're your center. You're dead center now. Look at that. Okay, so here comes Wilson. 
hangs onto it, does not let it fly, and has the first down. I was leaning in, getting a little comfortable over there. I guess I'll get back into a professional stance here. Well, I, I just you're starting to move over uh, towards the edge of the camera shot, just the way I have it locked in. So going to Anthony Carter again, several shots to him in this game, and he's got the J. Got he's it. got a touchdown, Hacy yep. Slater. What a fun game. Yeah. I I am nervous for my brother, though. Obviously, sorry, Voss. I like you, bud, but uh, gotta, you always got to root for your blood. I, I'm nervous. His defense has not not been up to par. Uh, my my brother, you, my my brother's younger than I, but he weigh, lifted weights. He used to like to uh, slap me in the back of the head when I beat him at video games, and uh, so <laughs> I don't always root for him in video games these days. I mean, it's, it's a thirty year old grudge. I should grow up. I I am the older brother as well. Um, but, uh, we, you know, we have a good friendly rivalry. My brother doesn't play Tecmo, unfortunately, but I did introduce it to my nephew. Uh, he, but he's playing the Super Nintendo version. Uh, and there's nothing oh, wrong with that. There. All right. Second down and 10. Mine are still in good. Gerald Riggs is in good. Sanders that was that situation with the, the bad quarterback play, just making an errant throw. I expect this to be a run. There's run three. There, oh, there. goes for the chop block. He avoids it. Oh, my gosh, avoids another one. Yes. Force him back inside there. Get some drone help. It's a big game. That chop block not finding its way to the man player is a huge, huge factor. Oh, good tackle. Now he's going to force a punt, probably. He's got a punt. This is a tough spot. I mean, Alpha TD, you got to trust your. Oh man, he's going for it. Uh, this, this, if he if he doesn't get this, he gave the game away. The thing is, with the exception of those bombs, AC Slater hasn't been proficient on offense. He's he's had really long strikes. He's he's had a, some rhythm for for the most part. It's been the long ball that's got him the points on the board. Well, that's because he keeps taking green. So I. I'm just going to agree to disagree with you on that one. Yep. All right, AC, if you blow this one, you're a turd. <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> call, call play, nowhere to go. Driver's seat, your bro. All right. Start off running the ball here, boy. So, something's in the air. Right? Or quarterback or a run. Single back formation here is pass one. Wilson to the top. There you go. Yep. Keeps yep. it on yep. the ground. Gets six. Boom. We'll say five. Shotgun. He'll never see it coming. Oh, Offset eye. Collins. Walker. TD. Does not get it. That's oh, probably man. better for him. You get the time taken away a little bit here. Yeah, but a field goal would be terrible because ac has a uh, horrible history with late jj touchdowns oh man this is a big all right so here is pass two don't throw it don't throw it cross field back of the end zone touchdown oh, got one. man i thought that the x was sitting out of the end zone yeah. i don't think he what i don't think he wanted to throw it but he ran into that drone just ran out of room there. So touchdown for AC Slater takes the lead. There is time for Alpha TD to respond. He does have the receiving core to do that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and uh, with Ripon, it just flows up there beautifully. And AC can't blitz him because, you know, with Ripon being so slow, you can blitz him. But he's going to be vulnerable here. Take Browner or Carl Lee and Pray. What's there you go. remind me? What's Merriweather's INT? He's a forty-four. Okay, so, so he could be he an extra guy to go down there if you want to hope for the drone support. He's thinking the same thing. Oh, but it's just him. Okay, let off. But so this is where he's he needs a let off. Get on. I think he just holds B back too much. But he's locked on it's, though. It's a little short, but he's got the JJ here. Yep. Oh, it bounces it, it, off. Are you kidding down. me? Yep. Taking the time yep. away. <laughs> the bias coming through the color commentary booth. Hard I mean, monk with the ha touchdown. It happens to him a lot, and I do. I throw it at him because I and he's arguing with me about if you hold back 
It's the same. No, you got to let off get because you got to be in front of them. If not, they run past them every time. All right. Good luck on the f- coin flip, Kai. Dang it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not, this, this is the Fox News broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the MSNBC, depending on where you, you line up. Oh, my I've goodness. Never said, I've never said I'm unbiased, by the way. Oh, my I, Lord. I'm no. a bias to the to the degree. Well, All he's, right. he's got the return side here. Maybe he can do something for once with the return game. So far, he hasn't been able to. I and I just I don't think Alpha TD's shown the ability to stop him unless Kyle does something stupid. But we'll see what happens. Challenge accepted. Taken to the 14, first down and ten. Fenny's in good. Carter's in good. And I think it's going to retain the conditions from the fourth quarter. So, yeah. Just a quick reminder to everyone: there is a one, there's a one overtime rule, and if if there's no winner, all overthrow oh uh, and intercepted God. by Alpha TD. Wow, to the 29. First points wins no matter what. If we don't complete first overtime, oh, the it, check down guy, check down guy. It would go to a second overtime with a brand new game being made and uh, no uh, no changes to your playbook whatsoever. Claude plays. And then what do you do when they call your play? You can't put yourself in that spot, unfortunately. Uh, I hope this one doesn't cost him uh, playoff spots. Oh, he's going to he can get the JJ here. Gen jump pick. Yes, picked off by oh, Brown. Yeah! He baited him. I thought the game was over. I thought it was over. Wow. Yeah, see, Voss ain't used to throwing the ball. He knows how to do is tap, tap, tap. Sorry, Voss. <laughs> Or next time I'm going to put if I get these two I'll put you and Eddie in the same broadcast and I'll just get out of the oh. way. Oh my freaking Lord. Ed! <laughs> Second down at ten. Are you kidding me? Snatching uh. defeat from the jaws of victory. Both these players doing battle here on GB Land. Okay, so in chat right now we saw some bullshit on both sides. Who's going to win this game? Let us mash mash chat. Who's your pick right now? All right, so. The dive from green. Here comes Rick Fenny. Gets Get the there, Fenny. Gets boy. out of bounds to the 31 first down. And the left tackle just crushed the D-line there. I wonder what Stan Brock's doing down below. Shotgun formation. Gets in a hurry. Not even not even showing up for the game. Just chilling. Hassan Jones drops it. Oh, God. That's one less down to work with. Oh, he's pissed. Checking him out. Chris Carter, all he does is catch touchdowns. Not in Tecmo. <laughs> A little before his time, all he caught was drugs. Yeah. Until he turned his life around, good for him. Became oh, a Hall no. of Famer. Don't th- no. Oh, what 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 is this game? You know, we saw some pretty pretty high flying offenses here, and now it's like they don't know how to play the game anymore. I know AC is awesome, but son of a gun. Throw to the wide receiver two. He could throw the check down. Those those nerves kicking in. Called run three. And he breaks. Oh, oh boy. (laughs) Second and 11. Chip shot low Miller. He's a, what, average kicker, I believe. I think he's chip, chip lower. I think he's all right. He's all right. All right, pass one. There are obviously any kicker you're in range at this point. Mary yeah, Weather I'm just worried can, about the arrow speed. Uh, Mary Weather can definitely barrel in here. Let me see. Check his thing. Check the book. Washington. He is a 50 kicker. So, yeah, he's solid. First down run by Alpha TD, 152 here in overtime. And here's the run to the top. Get him, get him. And the drone just gets there on a 16 tab to, say, second down and six here with a four-yard gain. And he's just trying to work these motion runs. I think he's playing for a field goal here. Well, he just knows he can't pass well, so let's just do this and kick field goal. All right, here's run three. Terrible oh. blocking, though. And Got now, him. Fourth down here, field goal attempt to win it. It's not a double tap, but it's it's pretty hard to miss from this distance. Well, Merriweather can get in. Let's see if he gets there. 
Nailed it perfect. Good game. And through the uprights, 31-28. Alpha hey, TD think... with the victory over AC Slater. AC gave it to him with the bad decisions on the called plays. Unfortunately, three interceptions. Whiskey Wade was taking the shots at halftime. So, good luck to you guys in the playoffs. Hopefully, you're both in there. My word, that was a that was a rough goal. Um, it's a tough way to lose. But look at the stats here. You've got, my gosh, the passing yards in this game are pretty off the chain for that many. I mean, just for the teams that were that they're playing with. Uh, and the poor quarterbacks that they have. They got quite a bit through the air. Three interceptions. Yeah, they're both. Made, though, and it's tough to win that way. Deep throws. That That's where the yardage came from for those guys, a bunch of deep throws. Well, thanks for watching this one, guys. We hope you liked it. We're going to have another game for you. Hang tight. Shine this up real nice, Jabroni. And I know just where to stick it, Ron. What's your name? It doesn't matter what my name is. The rock smells what you're cooking. Pancakes, Rock! Ooh. Lay the smack down in the kitchen, the loading dock, even the boiler room. Plus storylines and special guest referees. Everything inside the ring and almost anything out. WWF Smackdown. Rated T for Team Jabroni. Finally, The Rock has come back to place. And we're back, Trojan with Deriller. You can't do anything about it because I'm in charge. I have <laughs> Deriller back with me here. NYNY yes. and Darth Rockman uh, doing battle. Uh, NYNY, uh, some of you may know him. The artist formerly known as Humilination. Humilination. Which which was a great name. Humilination. It was. It's uh, better. So I don't know what uh what changed that because I believe he lives in Minnesota. I, I don't I don't think he lives in New York, so not sure what that's about, but maybe he can explain it. Uh Darth Rockman the defending and he's gonna be the two year defending T P C champion uh, uh for the tournament out in uh Chicago. Technical Players Championship uh, because there is no tournament this year, at least because of COVID. So, yay COVID for ruining our lives. But that's why we're doing these online tournaments. So, week five, do you smell what Stan Brock is cooking? Every team gets a Stan Brock at right tackle. What does that mean for the players and the teams and the fans and all that stuff? By the way, let's switch over. I should have your name correctly. Yes, got that fixed. You're now Deriddler down there. You're not angry, Jay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, what what can players expect? As far as these teams go, um, I haven't played Humiliation in a long time. Um, he kind of took some time off. But, uh, you know, Rockman, I, I know, is a major tapper. And with Miami here, I, I think he's got a team advantage. Um, so I kind of I kind of expect Rockman to take this one. But, you know, if we're watching on stream, it's going to be a close one. All right, here comes Carter out of the end zone. There's a bump, and here he goes. And here's the guy that, for the last game, Easton Slater probably should have had in the return game, first down and 10. Yeah, that's a good return there. Get, that quick startup allows him to get out in front of those blockers. Pearl set formation. Lots of options on Miami's defense. Wants the burn route, and he's got the covered catch of San Jones in between two defenders and a first down. A little risky because that's where Browner and Lee both. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. This is Miami. That's a good throw. Wilson trying to do with his legs. No drone dives, and Darth Rockman is there, second and four. You know, Miami has a lot of options, but they have no superstars. So we'll see how that comes into play. Miami Sound Machine defense doing some work there, just short of the marker here, third down for NYNY. Single back formation. Jarvis Williams on defense pass wins the call. He has a lot of field to cover. This should be a QB scramble for a first. And it is. Very meticulous right now. Pass four. He had that first down before with this play. And Wilson elects to keep it and gets about eight yards, second and two. Top hash mark this time, going with the offset eye formation. Oliver on defense, here's the dive play. Nice hesitation by Walker. Here he goes. Ten, zigzag five, near the end zone. It's in the end zone, touchdown, NYNY. 
Yeah, it's a nice play there with the hesitation. And instead of trying to go in with a dive, he was engaging the lead blocker, and uh, the hesitation got him. 7 nothing here, NYNY with the opening drive touchdown. Let's see what Darth Rockman can do. He does have Paige, so that hitting power combined with the Stan Brock return factor should equal something. Here he goes, running away from the pack. Looked like he might have had an opportunity. There was a bunch of jerseys. He can't to... cut back up around the other way, maybe. Would have been interesting. Bottom hash mark, first down for Darth Rockman. Offset eye formation. Merriweather on defense. Cross the formation. Comes in behind. Tap off yet? Nope. He knows he can't oh, yeah. tap Darth Rockman. Smart to not engage there. Let's see if Millar tries to bump the blocker. He doesn't. Oh, he does run through someone. And we have a first down at Darth Rockman cutting it back up. And this is 69 it, hit power. He can he can do that on the receiver. Chris Dolman on defense this time. Rest in peace. Cross field to Duper. It's completed to the 49 and a first down Darth Rockman. Yeah, that's suicide against Marino. He won't be able to get back in time. Alert on defense again. Not the guy you want in coverage. I don't like the deep drop. Sammy Smith. And out of bounds. First down, Darth Rock, man. 36 seconds type of time in the first. From the top hash mark, offset eye formation. Going with... Is it Ray Berry? I don't even... I've never, <laughs> call, I've never called his name before, I don't think. Ray Berry, a 31 uh, RS in RP. That's, that's some hot yeah. shit right there, all right? Pass yeah. four. Just we need a Ray Barry call to spice things up here. He ran a, the wrong a, direction. Well, oh, but Merriweather, I don't know why. Man. All right, so top hash, yeah, top hash mark, single back, pass one's the call, last play of the quarter. He's got Jensen. He wants Jupe. Dupree's going for cover, catch in the back of the end zone. He's got a touchdown, Darth Rockman. He was, not, he was out of options there. I mean, he could have took off and ran a little bit, um, but you know that's free money thrown up there against the Minnesota top DBs. Seven, seven to seven. I think that was a third down play too. So okay, so yeah, we had to throw it in there. So he's, he's definitely happy about that. All right, so tight ball game. Carter's starting to return. Let's see if NYNY can keep the pressure on. Nice movement so far. Breaks a tackle, taking down 12-yard line, 425 techno time. Condition check time. How many times going to say time in the same word, or same sentence? Mm -hmm. So how's, how's your tournament faring? Don't talk about week five. Uh, not as well as I would have liked, but, you know, sometimes uh, Tecmo has a mind of its own. It is sentient. You must That's view offerings right. to the technical guys. If I, if I get in, um, we'll see what happens. Jesse Clark in good. So we'll see if he makes the field. Jesse Clark should replace Rick Fenny. <laughs> but he doesn't, which is strange. Yeah, especially with the race bias. All right, where's Whiskey Wade Wilson? Is he going to go back and be? Yep. Oh, arrow tricked it. All right, so first down and 10. I don't like the deep drop and then throwing it short. You don't get much out of it. You actually let the drones a lot of times jump up. What's Carter? Another arrow nice trick. Nice arrow trick. Got him All on over it. his head, though, and incomplete second and 10. Yeah, two beautiful arrow tricks in a row, though. Here's run one. Darth Rockman should have him dead to rights, and he does. Third down and eight. Yeah, not a great run play if you're against a DB3 if you can't tap. But there's not a lot of options against a DB3, so... All right, Rick Fenny, doing good work. I guess I spoke too soon. First down and 10. And this time for the bottom hashback pro set, a cold play. The double tap is a risk, but he redirected oh, the throw. Nice. 
So that really worked out for NYNY. Darth Rothman was in perfect position to pick that off. And the, the... I thought he was going to get sacked. That was that was beautiful. He's got Fenny again. Yep. Fenny, the MVP of this drive so far. Yeah, and fumbles shut it. Up. Oh, no. Unbelievable. First down and 10. It's hard to shut up and be the play by play guy at the same time. <laughs> and shutting you up in general. Oh! Boom. Second down and five. I can take I mean, this it. This is a communist regime around here. It is, you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jarvis Williams on defense. Okay, so he did call the play. I'm like, that was a strange choice position wise there based on that formation. So, third down and 11. Are you having fun yet, Tecmo? This is, I don't know, the, the umpteenth game in this broadcast, but we don't care. We love doing it for you. Make your life a little better. Oh, he's got the JJ oh. opportunity. No, overthrow. overthrow. No pick, though. Jarvis was there. And I don't know if uh, Reve is, if Wad's going to hit this. I guess it, it's close. Uh, 44 for Flood. That's uh, high. That's, I, I, ooh, I Elma Flood. Just a bit outside. And 131 Sorry, Bugs here. Bunny pulled the carrot away on him. So, condition check time for Darth Rock, man. NYNY did pretty well just to take time off the clock, but not finishing that with points hurts. I think you leave Marino in until, you you know, maybe the last play if you're still far away. Yeah, for sure. Barry again. So, uh, apparently if he takes Barry, that means he automatically called the play. Scott Studwell, second worst linebacker in the game. With the tackle there. Sack. He is a stud. He's a stud. He did well. That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Which bad, was, it's good. What, what's better, that or, El, or Elma Flood? Uh, they're really... Uh, the, 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 the Flood's... All oh, right, I like that. First down and 10. All right, okay. Help us out, everyone. We're trying. Okay, so... Single back formation. Browner on defense. Pass one's the call. Got to take away that Burner. burn. Oh, okay, so it. it's gone. He, he's going to go for the cover catch again. And he's got the JJ. Wow. Crazy that there was no jump wow. from the defender there. Super duper with the second yeah. touchdown of the game. And Darth Rockman takes the lead. Usually with Marino, you got to throw at an angle in the deep ones. But Duper was so far past him. He isn't bad, but, I mean, you're not talking like four notches down. You're talking about one notch down in the passing speed. Well, Darth Rockman kicking it to NYNY. Let's see if he can do anything with this return here. He's had a few close ones where he almost broke it out. Oh, he gets a bump here. Oh. No, no, off to the races. Get down. There you go. Zigging, zagging. Oh, man. No kicker in sight. No kicker in sight. This this is his this return is to this go. Is gone. A lot of drones. Oh, oh. my God. No. Oh, touchdown. NY, oh, NY to God. end the half. Are you shitting me? Unbelievable. Stan Brock. Oh, my goodness. Do you that's smell out. what Stan that's Brock so is huge. cooking? So huge. Tie ball game. 14-14 wow. as we enter the half. Darth Rockman must be sick. <laughs> well, again, if you, you know the guy's been getting close to it, he's going in there full-fledged with that quarterback or with the kicker. Hang back just a little bit. I mean, especially at the very end of a half. So that's a that was a mental um, lapse there for uh, Darth Rockman. But uh, damn, that's huge. We've seen some fireworks just work with this modifier. Uh, it, it's it's opening up the floodgates for more ideas. But anyway, uh, if you like the different ideas that we've done this year, you know, certainly let us know if you're in our Discord channel. We set up. Uh, a way for you to make fun of me, um, but tell me why I suck. I think that's what we call the channel. Why, <laughs> why, why, why Trojan sucks? Yeah, there should be more messages on there, but people uh, are still holding back. Oh, hey, oh, they're, they're, they're afraid of the the communist regime. <laughs> it's <laughs> just remember it's definitely... the, the comments are only considered for change if it you know makes me famous and helps my narrative. That that's pretty much it. Uh, I I mean, it, it's really, it seems like there's two schools of, of thought. If they really like them or they don't really like them, I, I think it's fun and interesting. But 
you know, my thought was the same as like, then why don't we go back to the playoffs being normal? I mean, because if, if your skill level is based off of can you adjust, well, then the, I, I kind of feel like it, it should be that way. But well, this but is they, our, our fourth year doing the tournament, right? So we have, I, I guess, with, with that being said, uh, this is the first year we've, we, we've, where we've had actual gameplay modifiers, not just team selected matchups. Yeah. Um, and we always brought it back to that home, that home traditional feel at the, at the end of it, if you will. Uh, and one of the, the benefits of it being a tournament and not a league is that you don't have to. You can come and go with it. I mean, you can do this, and you're not there you committed go. all year long. Picked off. Nice play there. NY NY baiting him into the throw, and Darth Rockman with the pick off. So, oh Jesse, and I'm sorry, who was that? Steve Jordan, excellent. Now he can pull off that Mr. Perfect throw to himself. That was a that was a beautiful bait right there. You went back and then cut back right right away. That was well done. Second down and six after the QB scramble. So we'll see how the tournament evolves over the years. We're we're just glad that people are having fun. Rick Fenny onto the ten, third down and two. I feel like if anything that's free, you can't complain that much. You know what I mean? It's like it's just for fun. So and at the end, maybe you get something. If not, it's just fun to compete. First down and goal from the five, NYNY, with authority right now, seems to be moving the ball at will. Nice hesitation. Doesn't get the bump that time. Second down and goal from the six. Yeah, Rockman adjusted to the way they he played that earlier in the game. He did a well done, well done doing that. Offset eye formation. Call. Oliver across the formation. Can he get in behind him? Versus field. Waiting for the blocker to open up. Really nice job advancing that, considering he had him dead to rights, third down and three. Yeah, I've lost my video here, so. Go, oh, that's back. Must be some lag issues. Hopefully we're all right. Field goal attempt here on fourth down. Overdahl breaks three. The kick is a little high, but this time he doinks it in, so this time Fouad knocks it in, 17-14. Good hold on the defense there. Page out of his end zone. See if he can do a better return this time. And here he goes. Gets a popcorn. With the drone slows him down. He had a chance, but that one drone ruined it for everyone. Another call play. So, yeah, Barry, you select Ray Barry. It's a call play. Second down and 10. <laughs> How's the sideline reporting down there? Sounds like we got some giggling in the background, which is happy kids. That's oh, we have a Dee Fullington uh, interception. Yeah, I always hated hated him just because he doesn't even have a full name. <laughs> like when I'm drafting players, so what what is his first name? I don't know. It doesn't him. matter what his name is. It's D Nuts. D's nuts, indeed. Single back formation. It is the Rock or the Stan Brock cooking week, so whatever. I have to keep doing that. I can't believe I didn't get you in that last game. All right, so there's a, a nice dive, dive there by Darth Rockman. A lot of times tappers don't take advantage of that. They just try to rush in there. Good play by him. So Jarvis has to give up the underneath throw to Fenny out of bounds to the 30 first down NYNY. He's had a lot of success with that pass one. And the pitch. Run three. Gets the bump. Oh, the drone finishes him off. 17-14 into the fourth quarter. And new players. The reason he's having some success with that play Oh, Jesse is, Clark. Oh. oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is because he's taking Lewis Oliver. So if, you know, uh, who covers which receiver is like 50-50 between DB1 and DB3? So if DB1 doesn't cover a guy and he runs up to the line of scrimmage, there's going to be two guys open. And so that's the downside of taking loose Oliver every time. Pass four. NY, NY with some showmanship showing us the excellent players. Oh, and a first down run. <laughs> On pass four. 440 Tecmo time remaining. Leading by three is NY, NY from the 19. It took Jesse Clark getting into excellent to get rid of Rick Fenny. Jesse Clark. Fumble it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I want Rick Fetty back. 
The fanny Give me pack. My fanny. I want my fanny pack. You probably rocked out a fanny pack, didn't you? I have a fanny pack in my car. You Jesse Clark you wear, with a touchdown. You're wearing it right now, aren't you? It's full of arcade tokens from Player 2 Arcade Bar in Appleton, which I can't go to nice. for a number oh, of yes. reasons, one being COVID. And you probably got banned from there too, didn't you? No, no. They were a sponsor for one of our <laughs> tournaments. I'm not banned from any. They don't run Tecmo tournaments there, at least not yet. <laughs> oh, man. So NYNY has got a, a two-score lead, so Rockman's really got to get his head out of his ass here. And here he goes. Oh, my goodness. This is the return you've. It is what we thought it was. I still feel like we're going to see. Whoa. Come in there. I thought he was oh, dead. Oh, how there. did they. Big whiffa. Oh, no. Finish the job. Oh. Man, he's all about the stats for Marino. Wants to zoom. You know, that was a calculator risk there with Merriweather on him. Um,. He was forcing it to do I told you it was all about the stats. He wanted to do his third touchdown. And here's run three to Troy Stratford. Can't go wrong with Strapping a Troy. Two on. Troys don't make Strapping a wrong. Strapping it on for Stratford. Oh my god. Personal it's massagers. Scary, I think. Pass four is the call. So Marino is well. Lightning. He's gonna get a Lightning. rushing touch. <gasps> Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling with his isotoners. Yeah, he reached out with those gloves on. Felt cozy. So narrowing the gap here at only two oh five time remain here. Oh my goodness, he's got him. He got him. This is for a official of Detroit Kumite. Right here, Odell. I stole this from you. So he goes with the onside here, and it's understandable for two reasons. The the kickoff is gonna be the time the time factor is gonna be reduced here. Uh you're not gonna get the recovery. It's just not likely to happen. But now you don't See, have Kumite, I, I started off with this. And then upgraded to this. Kuhlman's in his own world right now. Here comes Walker. I usually am. All right, fourth quarter here. This is still, I mean, this is NYNY's game to lose here. Darth Rockman's got to try to hold him to a quick field goal attempt and hope for a, a deep shot at the end. Time's ticking away third and four. You know, there, there's something to be said here. I guess he's close enough to try to get a first down. Oh, he's stuck. There, cl clogged the oh hole. Oh, my gosh. Fourth Rick down Fenny would have got that. Rick Fenny would have done it. Got to kick the field goal here, in my opinion. Because then, even after if you make it, kickoff, you're not going to have much time left. I don't know. But if you get it, the game's over. So I don't know. Why don't you, why don't you do a pass play and run backwards? Yeah. That's true. I don't know if you can waste yeah. 39 seconds, but probably not. I, you'll 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 waste 20 seconds just throwing it. If I if I call play, I'm I'm trying to pick up the first. It's only so, two yards. There, there, there's a lot of possible options here. If you had a mobile quarterback, I would say maybe try that. Uh, is Williams I, am, still I imagine good? this. I don't know. This is Orphodol's blitzing for sure for me. No, no, not not in shotgun. He can't blitz. Yeah, good call, call and shotgun, so he couldn't run back. Well done, well done. That was the problem with the playbook there. You know, he only had one option to be able to run back with. All right, twenty three seconds. I'd get in field goal range here if possible. This is going to be interesting. I don't know if you're going to have that option. Oh, he's putting Mitchell in. No, he's he's debating which way to go. Gosh, I don't know because he's not going to give you the underneath, or is he? These are the experts because we're just here on a microphone talking heads. There's all kinds of things that could happen here. I would take Logan run one, try to be a, a bitch with my tap, and get in field goal range. Or go with pass three and do something else. And now you're just take a quick shot, quick shot. You got to throw it now. Got to throw it now. Get out of bounds. All right, perfectly oh, done. Lord, Perfectly done. <laughs> Here's the field goal. This is good. This has got to be time. good. Oh my goodness! Say 24, 24. Good job. Because we job. wanted we wanted this broadcast to get longer. 24, 24. Heck yeah, man! Oh, I just want good Tecmo play. Just want good Tecmo you, play. You, I have no I have no uh, bias on this one. I don't know either player that well. 
Yeah, I have to rethink about you. Can you call Easy Slater games in the future? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, here comes Carter. Oh my, dancing around. Well, welcome you know, overtime. I didn't do a Kevin Molnar game at all this year. I, I don't think he was in a ton of uh, broadcast, if I if I remember correctly. Probably sucked it up too much. Kevin think, Molnar sucks. Uh, you know, I, I have to go back and look. I think he was either in a lot of really low-scoring games or they weren't close. Uh, but I could be off on that. I have to go back and look at the tape. So 24-24, welcome to overtime. First team to score wins if we go... Past the regulation time, a new game begins with the same playbook configuration as what they started the game with, and a new game continues, and the other team, other player would get the ball to start. All right, so, um, what do you think the odds are on if you get the ball, you winning? Would you say seventy percent is too high? It uh, depends on the skill of the players and the teams that they're playing with. So it's not a with these with cop the, out answer. Is it seventy no, percent or less? I think it's less. Okay. So, pass one. Check down. Yep. Mark Logan underneath runs to the sideline wisely instead of trying to advance and gets the first down. 3.39 techno time remaining. Oh, no! You, you really have to think about the dynamic changes entirely because you, don't, you know earlier in the game you don't mind punting the ball because if, you, if they score, the game's not over. And that changes the dynamic of everything. So there's a lot of going for it on fourth down in these situations. Yeah. So, Troy Stratford. Oh, he's got a zigzag. Yeah. It's his game to lose here. 40. Straddle up, buddy. Gets out of bounds of the 20 yard line. First down, Darth Rockman. Whew. Some good running. Now you just got to be smart. No turnovers. With Stojanovic, you know you're going to get a nice arrow. Touchdown down low. He had it earlier, and he didn't go for it. I'm not sure why. Henry oh. Thomas with the drone sack. Second down and 13. It's related to Henry Brown. They don't have the same last name. <laughs> Out of town, Henry Brown. Jensen! Oh, how do you drop that? That is, that's terrible. Third down and 13. That, that's, that's your bread and butter right there. Yeah, a little bit out of his hands there. His uh, three cone drill was run three low. Nope, call pass. And now he's got a longer field goal, so this is a uh, it's a problem. I mean, it still should be. I mean, it's going to come down to does he get blocked or not? Because with the arrow, you should be on point with Stoyanovich. He's on the top mark, so he's got everything that he wants. So you can't kick high. Yes, he did kick and it he high. Did, he tried to kick it high. Come on, wide right. This is not Scott Norwood. Yes. This isn't Detroit. Oh this is the Super Bowl. Oh, Darth Rockman kicking himself. And Stoyanovic, oh that's, that's unacceptable. Online for the win. Or the uh, loss. Sorry. Maybe. Jesse Clark getting four yards on first down. Darth Rockman's my friend, Phil, a broadcaster, but what the shit. <laughs> yeah, his skill level that kind of that shocks me cuz he's a really good player. Well, he plays online too, so he's adjusted for it. And there's ooh, I thought we was going to have the JJ in between two defenders and said it's knocked down third and 6. Another cold play. Throws it out of bounds. Fourth down and 6. Defensive coordinator trying to get a raise. This is risky here. You might give up the game if you don't get it here. I think you have to punt it. it. Sucks, but go for the win. Thing is, he does get the ball if there's a second overtime, so there is that. And now you got to go with your shitty quarterback. So Mitchell has to back and be it. He's gonna run first. Get out of bounds. Trying to try to throw the game away. Wow. Uh, maybe maybe you thought if you broke it, they could get you to a field goal range there, but I don't think you can. Get you're, out you're, of you're, bounds. You're, you're taking the ability away for you to uh, have a play called and drop back. So this is all here in, in the shotgun formation. He 
His Wants feet Cooper. are set. Nope. He's got the. Oh my lord! Oh my god! I, I I have found as player two, if you don't stop before you throw, a lot of times uh, they're not as accurate. Oh, here we go. Double overtime. Isn't, isn't the, aren't get... you trying to overthrow, though, so you get the JJ? I, I don't know. Um, it, it, each, each his own. I, mean, I suck as player, too. Remember that, everyone, when you called Marino, me. I, I mean, I would have thrown an angle throw if I was Marino and get the dive. But Welcome to um, double overtime. And oh. I need to get paid for this. This is extra. This is overtime. This is more than I signed up for. Oh, my gosh. The wife credit is being spent. <laughs> So Darth Rockman has to kick it to NYNY. All right, so here comes Carter. Ten, fifteen, twenty, and taken down. First down four. NYNY. Fenny. Fenny's back. That's huge. Take my back, my Fenny. And there's the misses. That was my misses, not yours. Oh. I don't know how she would have got over here that fast. <laughs> First down completion to NY for an NY, excuse me, for NY, NY. She might have spent the night last night. I don't know. I didn't know I had that kind of effect. <laughs> Ladies. Okay, Carter, the intended receiver, wants a deep over his head. He did have the one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Second and ten. Jarvis Williams on defense. Nice hesitation. Here comes Fenny right oh, at the middle. Oh, got it. Yep. That's just the IQ of Rick Fenny out there. It's a hidden ultra, stats. Ultra back Rick Fenny. We're going to have to have a hidden stats week. Maybe tailback King will watch it. I got to play a game against Camp with him in the background. Oh, my gosh. That guy. He's something else. Love to, love to meet him. A lot of guys love to meet Um uh -oh. All the so options. Many of you. Uh, ball up to Carter. Let's sit, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. JJ touchdown. Ball game. NY. NY. Are you kidding me? Oh, and then celebrating right in his face. Oh, Darth Rock, man. It hurts. It burns. It burns us, precious. Oh, my gosh, Smeagol. So, that's your ball game. I don't remember what the last was. A 24-24 going into... Uh, well, whatever. The uh, game's the it game's was all, it was a tie ball game. Right? That's all that matters because it's a new yep. ball game in overtime. So thanks everyone for watching. Uh we're gonna have one more game for you. Hang tight, Darth Rockman. You're the man, the myth, the legend. Bye Here's guys. And we're back. It's Tecmo time. Do you smell what Stan Brock is cooking? Week five, final game of the week of the regular season coming at you, Nas and Arnquam. And uh, I've made the same mistake again because we do this so quickly, trying to get to this Saturday deadline. I got Tooley in the house. How's it going? Real good. How you doing, Troy? Hello, Tecmo. Hello, Tecmo. Indeed, I kept forgetting to change the name of the broadcaster in my little magical window. Who did you have me as? I didn't see. You were DeRiddler, and DeRiddler was Angry oh. Jay. It was this vicious cycle that we had going <laughs> Yeah, thank you for thank you for correcting that. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, good Ohio, Ohio Michigan uh, uh, rivalry there. Uh, he did really well at Kumite there. Uh, was it against uh, Mort at the end? Yeah, he made the final against Mort. He uh, he had kind of qualified pretty low, but had a big upset uh, like Green Bay over Miami uh, against Odell, and was able to steal Miami, the team, and then took them to the final game. So yeah, he had a real nice run. I love that whole steal the steal team idea. That's fantastic. I just I love I love what you guys do there. Just really getting creative with Techbo. I mean, we've all seen it done, kind of the vanilla way. Now, there's anything wrong with that? To, to borrow a line from Jerry Seinfeld, <laughs> but you do this game for 30 years practically. You you want to make it interesting and and, and put a wrench in it sometimes, especially with kind of what we're dealing with being stuck at home. So that's kind of what this tournament is about. Shout out to Kumite, you guys. Whenever that, uh, assuming late February again, assuming that you know we return to normal, um, definitely check that out. So Tuli been an awesome uh, uh, contributor to this uh, all season long and the prior seasons. And if if you haven't caught this in the past, Tuli was the guy that got me into online tech. Well, he was the only one to ever give me a hand 
Ironically, I after the broadcast at some point, I have to help you get your hosting going again. So the the the, the tables have turned a little bit. Yeah, it's like Obi Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader, right? So you are the master now. I love it. Um, yeah. Not in Tecmo, though, <laughs> uh, for sure. Nas, speaking of masters, Nas and Ironquam are going to go at it here. These guys are top notch players uh, doing battle here. You, you've got insane manual dives versus blister thumb in Arnquam. So, uh, and this matchup is uh, the, just to kind of recap Stan Brock, right tackle. Stan Brock has been injected onto every team. So the return game is being impacted. And of course, any blocks to the bottom. Uh, of your screen, Stan Brock is going to uh, handle whoever's down there. So, what else? What should we look at for a uh, Vikings Bucks matchup? Uh, Vikings Bucks. Uh, good question. You know, one thing about this week is that you really can't modify your expectations too much based on the Stan Brock thing. Well, I heard that, that escalated quickly. We have a Joey Browner. Well, that's funny because score. you know, I was I was going to say you know Tampa gets the advantage of having Stan Brock plus Reggie Cobb now. And, of course, Reggie Cobb turfs it. The problem is Reggie Cobb is actually deceased, and maybe that's why he didn't hold on to the football too soon. It is harder to do such things uh, if you're deceased. Rest in peace, Reggie, former Packer. All right, zigging and zagging to the 12, and down 7. Arnquam has some work to do. Well, that went much better for him, though. Uh, did not give up a touchdown on that kickoff return. So, you know, we'll see if he can uh, recover mentally. There's definitely a mental thing. See whether or not you just got to stick to your game plan when something like that happens. A lot of time left in the game. Can't get too panicky. And uh, but Aaron Combs, such a veteran. He's it's he's not one to, you know, throw it all away. Ron Kidd's in the hall, making it third down and short. Um, interesting that pro set. Sweet play. The one he just ran? Yeah, you know, before that, uh, Millard went right through in, in fourth down and three here. Call play is going to go for the JJ. And it's deflected, very well defended by Nas. And it's a turnover here, Arnquam on his heels. Yeah, it's the right call to go for it. You know, you're down a quick seven, and you're playing someone who's obviously uh, no slouch. Um, and so, you know, you can't just punt it back to him and and, uh, you know, lose more and more of the game. Uh, but he got the play call and then defended it perfectly. Uh, so credit to Nas. Second down and two. With Whiskey Wade Wilson, pass one is the call. Runs it to the top of the formation, back of the end zone, overthrown, incomplete. You got to be careful against the secondary with Wade Wilson. Yeah, absolutely. A good secondary. Even the drones have a lot of INT. Walker gets the marker, crossfield pass, well done by Nas, and a first down, now first and goal from the eight. Yeah, one thing about that pass four that he's got, the run and shoot, the nice thing about that play is that your receivers, uh, when they reach the back of the end zone, I, I think most of them, if not all of them, uh, the, the quarterback will not throw out of the back of the end zone. So you don't have Speaking to worry of, about there it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's touchdown, Herschel Walker. Just transparent in the end zone, thirteen to nothing. What's what's in the cup? Uh, this is a vanilla rum and coke, uh, which can be made one of two ways. You can have coke with vanilla rum, or you can have rum with vanilla coke, and that's basically the option I went with tonight. It's kind of like you can put Stan Brock on the Buccaneers, or you can put the Buccaneers on Stan Brock. Either way, it's the same thing. You get the same desired effect, uh, but I've I figured that the I've learned that the only way to drink these vanilla cokes is with rum. Uh, How about uh, rum and creamsicle? Rum and creamsicle that would that would work, you know. Especially I'm, I'm sure Arncombe is uh, looking for something, anything to drink right now. Well, there's a Down rum and creamsicle nothing. here as he goes with Jerry Curl Anderson. Oh, went out of bounds prematurely, second and five. Yeah, Arncombe goes out of bounds a lot with his comments, uh, and that time he went out of bounds. <laughs> On uh, on the field, did not get the we too soon. Gra- too soon. I, I always called it the grace line. You know, when you're running on the sideline, it calls you not out of bounds. So um, you gotta feet, know exactly where the grace line is. Guants, Mark Carrier, yeah. and uh, that's an overthrow pick. This is escalating quickly. <laughs> Fourteen nothing as we know. enter the second quarter. 
Take it over for Sometimes me. Sometimes you see a game like this, you know the, the game's getting broadcast, you know that there's uh, some drama ahead. So it'll be interesting to see how this becomes a game because this is just looking like a uh, like Iron Combs going to get taken out with the trash here. But something's got to happen in his in his favor. We'll see what the, this, the, the next quarters bring for him. Second down and 10. Here's the pitch to Herschel Walker. Third down and three. Haddock's against pass three. And Wilson just doing it with his legs. Gets the marker to first down. Yeah, one thing uh, Nas is really uh, known for is using the use of his DB. Two. Uh, or four. Two. Is it, or is it, or is, it, is this two at the bottom and three and four of the safeties? That's correct. Yeah, two is your bottom cornerback. But he called this matchup, and uh, neither one of these teams with really, really strong DB2. So a lot of times if you're playing against Nas, uh, that's something to, to think about is you don't want to give him a real good DB2. So, Oh, my Lord, there's a bomb. 21 <laughs> nothing Nas over Arnko, and what is going on? I mean, this is uh, – it wasn't bath night at my house tonight. Uh, we do every other night for the kids. But we're seeing a bloodbath here. And, uh, boy, Iron Cone's got a lot of work to do in order to, to get back into this one. Holy Not smokes. getting the ball at halftime either. I, I feel like if he just dropped his controller, he'd be in a better position than he is right now. Um, of course, you can't tap if you don't have the controller in your hand. That's a pro tip. Ball's out to the 10. Condition check time. Jerry Cole curls in bad. Perkins in good. I had Perkins tonight. Pancakes are delicious. Oh, yeah, I've had Perkins on trips to into Wisconsin for Tecmo too, and uh, it's uh, it's a lifesaver sometimes. Well, we you don't can have, actually we play Tecmo the, with your. I was just gonna say we don't have Waffle House like Kevin Cabarello. We don't have it either, you know. Like we and we're just getting like Chick Fil A's, so we kind of miss out on most of the uh, most of the good Southern hospitality up here in these Northern states. Wants Mark Carrier gets the no, he doesn't. <laughs> you just kind of assume something good's going to happen here. Something for, has to happen. For, for Arn. Now, I was going to say earlier, you can play with your feet, uh, which I did one time, uh, not against a player, but uh, just kind of as a challenge season. I tried to play Tecmo uh, with my feet, and uh, it, it actually went all right. I don't remember the specifics of it, but I did a whole bunch of weird challenge seasons. I played with my eyes closed. Uh, I played where I had to count to, like, 10 before I could, like, touch the buttons. Um, I played with the controller upside down. You know, so I don't know. This was when, before I, like, learned about the online scene, and I was just trying, like you said, to do something new with Tecmo because I was already to the point where I could, you know, win with the Colts and the Patriots and, and playing the computer had sort of lost its challenge. So Gotta there are some player. ways that you can make, uh, make, make playing the computer fun again. Wow. Going cross field to Chris Carter. And is incomplete here. 57 seconds, Tecmo time remaining in the first half. And another call play. Go, let's go to Haddock's. This could be a jump pick. And it's an overthrow pick. And here comes Haddock's and gets out of bounds. Arnquam needs to do something here. He needs to get points on the board. Yeah, quick run three. It's the only thing that's positive that's happened to him so far in this game is that interception. Yeah, I don't know about the purpose of that run three there because you didn't need space. Let um, it all go to Carrier here. Got the JJ. He's got a touchdown. Arnquam <laughs> makes this a game somehow. Excuse me. That's, the, pan, that's the Perkins space. right there. It's right here. <laughs> He's open 24-7, right? Oh, maybe not. Not during COVID. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Welcome to Halftime, Trojan and Thule. Hope you're having a good time here on the Richard Sports Gamer channel. You know, I, I don't want to foreshadow. But something has to happen because I've been told something has to happen. That's all I know. So <laughs> stay tuned for the second half here as, as Nas tries to pour it on against Arnicombe, and Arnicombe is fighting for his life. And here comes Walker out of the end zone to the 5, 10, 15. Breaking the tackle. Here comes Walker. Finally taken down past the 25-yard line. And uh, everything seems to be pretty much an average. Hassan Jones and bad. So it looks like Carter's going to stay in. So we got the Carter squared. 
All right, from the single yeah, back I mean, formation. Go ahead. Yeah, just uh, at this point, up two scores, start in the second half. You got to figure if you can just get any points on this drive um, that you almost wrap up the game. Um, obviously, crazy things happen in Tecmo, but you know, if you, you'd be really happy to come away with just three on this drive as, as the Vikings. Really good patience here. Um, Arnquam uh, is doing really well covering everything, but the blocking is holding up because you don't have I mean, you basically, after after you have the secondary, you've got seven cardboard cutouts on defense. That's right. The line is, the D-line is second worst, maybe, I think, uh, the, or are they the worst? I know the Rams D-line, I think, is really bad, too. All right, third down and three. But they have nobody at linebacker, the Bucks. You're right, seven cardboard cutouts is an accurate description. Organ donors. Lemmings, whatever you want to refer to him as, fourth down and five here. Field goal attempt incoming from Nas. All right, now if this goes through, I'll be uh, real interested to see how this thing tightens up. Eugene Mar coming in. It's blocked! It's blocked! Tap, 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 tap. Oh, the kicker's got it. Uh-oh. Flawed. Uh -oh. oh, he oh. Short, stops him short. Shades <laughs> of... Uh... Oh, God, who was that? Chris Vo who lost a game... Gave up a touchdown, I believe, on a blocked Nick Lowry field goal. The other guy picked it up and took it to the house. With Lowry? Yeah. Yeah, Lowry picked it up and housed it. I actually won a game against Deuce Luce in Madison where Del Greco was last play of overtime, and I got a field goal blocked, and, and Del Greco picked it up, um, except he wasn't fast. It's like he picked it up and he was slow. It's like it was Drinky Pro running the ball. But for some reason, the drones couldn't catch me, and I was able to, to score. And it was just like a bizarre ending to the game. Well, Arnquam just trying to make something out of this here. He's down two scores. Pro set formation. I mean, yeah, now at this point, you get a score, and then you're just one break back from being in the game. So, you know, um, blocking that field goal keeps you alive. You're obviously still way behind it, and you need a touchdown. But... Um, the hope is hope is there. So Leon defense, this is not specialty. Uh, speaking of, I've seen him use Mark Lee in a Packers Browns matchup like nobody's business. I mean, that's a terrible corner. Yeah, match. yeah, that's a that's a my mistake. I forgot that Lee was down there. He's like a halfway decent player uh, out of the secondary, so that's a a nice guy for him to have. I thought he was like a top a top guy. Bruce Perkins, not quite open 24-7, but gets it closer to third down of four. I like, I'm going to use that when we get past COVID. That <laughs> He's line. open 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Is there anyone else, anyone uh, named House or Waffle? No? Okay. Cross field to Carrier. Overthrow. Gosh, how was that not picked yeah. off? Welcome to the fourth quarter, 21-7. <laughs> how do we get here? You know, when uh, when uh, Arncoim took Mars. Oh, he's excellent. It made, it's an it made excellent me think Perkins. Like, Uh-oh. Now they have Grubhub. <laughs> yeah, now he's open 25-7. That doesn't make any sense. But... No, have another rum and vanilla Coke. <laughs> Thanks, I will. Sold. I can't wait for the playoffs. Playoffs. Yeah, you know, this is a nice uh, transition-type ROM because, again, the, the whole Brock thing doesn't mess with gameplay too much. I definitely have enjoyed the, the variety in the different ROMs uh, during the uh, group play games. But it'll be, uh, you know, everyone's got to go back to standard Tecmo uh, for the playoffs. And I, this I, is about as close as we get. I have to give some thanks. Oh, Carrier looked like he had maybe a chance, but it was deflected. Much thanks to BrewDog for his help with the uh, the ROM uh, for the Cats in the Cage, I know you didn't care for that one, but uh, that required some programming <laughs> knowledge I didn't have. That wasn't just editing player ROMs. And Carrier in between, down to the 11. Got to get points here soon. Touchdown specifically. Yep, you got to dig into all the bag of tricks every time JJ Oh, you he can. gets the bump. Here comes Anderson in the end zone. Touchdown, right. Arnquam. Now it's a game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh Player two, you got to kick off now. There's still plenty of time. Play some defense, and of course, any uh, any time Tecmo wants to just uh, gift you a turnover, um, it could happen right away, and we could he could easily get this thing tied up. 
The Tecmo giveth and the Tecmo taketh away. All right, here's Walker out of the end zone. You know, really good drone pursuit by Tampa Bay. You'd like to think that just how poor their defense is, that you should be able to get a better return. But they just came flying down the field. They must have been Haddocks. Over all my years of playing, I feel like so there are some games, and I don't know if it has to do with conditions or not, but there are some games where just the drones on the opposing team are, like, just hounding. You know, they, they don't dive, they, they, they swarm, and they're just, they're just amped up. We're going to call play here, second down and 20. Knots, uh, looking upfield here, hard to get this on the ground against a tapper. Nice juke. Well, I should maybe hold my tongue. Made that a third and seven. That was impressive by Nas. You know, Tampa has two guys on their defense. You were asking about uh, whether or not there was a waffle or house on the. But the, the, the Bucks do have Eugene Marv and Harry Hamilton. Of course, the famous Harry and Marv. I think that's their name. Isn't that their name? The the fellas oh, from uh, he's got a force throw hot route and Haddix has the turnover. Here he goes, and he's you know he's not juiced. You know, cold play. You'd think on that pick he'd be moving faster. Um, I feel like the man defender. Well, yeah, you, yeah, on a, on a pick. Yeah, you you would have thought he would have been moving faster. Whatever. He's just happy to have the ball back. Uh, now he can. Uh, I mean, he's got a shot. Oh, it's deflected. Uh, oh, I don't know if that oh. if that was in business or not, but I mean, you, you've got a shot here. Yeah, and then the, the defender was cheating up, so I think it would have been a good, uh, a nice high percentage play there. He's taking his uh, shot now. gotten off. And deflected. Just, I think he needed to back up another five or so yards and then let that go. There's just not enough arc with the defender into the position that he was. Yep, and maybe even be a little bit lower in the screen to, to miss the, the tip, jump tip sometimes. Okay, so you're either going for six or you're going for the first for another try. Whatever seems to make sense. And here you are. So you're still close. Um, you hope for that you don't get a call play, but if you do, you have another play after that. Assuming you don't fumble. Yeah, he did have one-on-one -on -one with Browner there, so he could have taken a shot there. But here we go. Gets a JJ. Oh, short of the goal no. line. Are you kidding me? Man. Oh, my Lord. Nas by a fingernail. Came all the way back to the end, just a half yard shy. Oh, th that's like losing the election by one vote. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, that was some, some kind of a finish to a game that started 21 nothing. Oh, my Lord. Man, there's some good games this week. Unbelievable. Well, first off, just want to thank everyone. I truly thank you for, for stepping up in, in so many ways. I uh, think so. All of the broadcasters this week, thanks to everyone who's watching. We're going to have a special broadcast for you um, uh, coming back right after this. Hopefully we want to hit Wednesday with some playoff games. So I know we're doing a little bit more Tecmo. Uh, with, we just want to kind of get caught up with the playoffs that we were doing once a week. The the Everything is being accelerated now that we hit the playoffs because there's a lot of games we played, 48 competitors moving on. And we'll have the scores and show you here. Uh, the, the scores for Week 5 as well as uh, the players and the matchups for uh, the bracket. So uh, thank you again, and uh, stay tuned. We'll have all the information for you. Here it comes.